you here. Okay, day one of March. I every day, and I mean it, this damn thing done. I'm going to be streaming every day for the month of March, at least for March, until I finish this thing. I'm, eating, I'm gonna eat a big breakfast so I won't even have to eat. Just straight up keep drawing. I am sick of this thing not being done. Yeah, I'm already at a fun part, so. She's loud. I need to adjust my audio real quick. That's weird. It's because my uh Whew. I don't want you guys to hear the sound too much. It'll get annoying, trust me. As someone who's animating. Hearing the same noises over and over again. Okay, good. It's not coming up on my mic, so that means you guys can hear it. So in these couple frames, Kamek is pissed because he notices Wario is basically destroying his own whole army. Oop. The YouTube. I got four viewers here. Be sure to comment. I'm holding the wand. Venom and cinnamon. Venom and cinnamon. Hello there. That's, that's an amazing name. I wonder if anyone called Vinny Vine Sauce that. Anyone call him Venom? That's hilarious. That is that is hilarious. Yeah. Bit of a slow February for me. So I wanted to make sure March was a busy one. Well, it's not necessarily slow in regards to my work because I, I was doing my commission, but uh, I really want this done so I can work on other things. Because this, this sucker should have been done hella sooner, I'm not going to lie. Good. Hmm. So once more people come in, I'd be more than happy to talk about Pokemon stuff for its... 25th anniversary. Because, man, it is kind of crazy. There are people on this stream that have watched the stream before that are younger than Pokemon. Much younger than Pokemon. Almost a whole decade younger than Pokemon. And it's funny because as someone who was there since day one, maybe a little later because Pokemon, te technically, we got it two years later than Japan. Uh, we, I, I will always remember the days where it's like Pokemon was like, you know, oh, it's just a fad. It's like, it's like Ninja Turtles or Power Rangers. Sure, it got big and popular, but it eventually stopped like, like going. There was another one, uh, 
Ninja Turtles, Power Rangers. Power Rangers is actually still going, so maybe that's a bad example. Yeah, Power Rangers is still going. Hopefully they can hear me. Can y'all can you hear me all right? It's important to uh I also didn't put this in the community tab. I just kind of started because I'm going to be doing it every day. So it would be kind of annoying to have a update. Oh no, you're just in time. I just started four minutes. I'll only be. Hmm. No, wait, hold it. I mean, maybe the worm's a little thicker. I guess the weirdest thing about holding stuff when I'm drawing it is uh, I'm left-handed. So, like, I draw things how I hold them, but a lot of characters are right-handed. Because you guys have to have everything. So, it's a little rough. No, no worries. A little bit helps. Tell your friends about it. That, that's what really helps. It's like, that's the biggest thing. Because I swear, YouTube does not have... YouTube's algorithm is not in my favor, I swear. Like, you'd think that just... Like, you, Google. YouTube searching uh, Mega Man animation, mine would be, like, easy to find. But you have to scroll quite a bit just to find something, even though it's been around forever. Same thing with Pokemon. Pokemon I can understand though because like Pokemon animation could mean the anime and there's there's loads of Pokemon animation. But there ain't that much Mega Man animation. There should be. There should be more. I, I want more Mega Man content just everywhere. More of a platformer guy. You know, same. It's funny because, yeah, I'm not a big RPG person, but like one thing Pokemon has completely gotten right is uh, world building. Because, because funnily enough, like most RPGs, most RPGs like live or die on their story. Pokemon's story, like, technically doesn't matter at all because nobody really care. I mean, some hardcore fans might, but the, the general consensus is. Oh yeah, eight gym badges, Team Rocket, or Big Evil, Big Evil Team. Whoop de damn do. You know, Pokemon, like that doesn't matter. What matters is the Pokemon. It's the name of the franchise. What matters is yo. There's like almost a thousand of these creatures, and I want. And some of them are cool, and some of them suck, like Stantler. <laughs> Stantler. I really don't like that Pokemon. <laughs> My number one most despised. If there's one thing I could take away from Pokemon, it's that no matter how new and how different designs could be, I don't think they could go as bad as Stantler. Because just look at it. It's like a... It looks like it's in, it doesn't enjoy existing. It looks like even it doesn't look like itself. <laughs> okay, I think that's good. I don't want to go gold. Oh, Family Heritage was a used Game Boy. That's really cool. I really wish I still had mine. My, my old brick, and I mean the brick, the one that took four batteries. I like nose pass evolution. I like him too. Purple pass. I think it's funny. The 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 wool shavings as as a mustache or wool. Hello, spiky cactus. And I'm assuming y'all can hear me just fine. Uh, because you're responding to my sentences. Uh, yeah, nose pass. I I like the idea. Like, there's net. Like, I've warmed up to. 
Pokemon designs. You know, back I, I just probably said this last stream, but I I was very adamant against Gen Four when it came around because I was a huge fan of Three. I loved it to death, and so many things were changing, and some of the designs were not working right for me. Uh, but I've warmed up to most of them. Is it looks like a I I mean. <laughs> I don't know about that. That's kind of... <laughs> That's a... I wouldn't say that. I mean, it's because... <laughs> you know what I mean? It's based on Groucho Marx. So, you know, the like uh, the enemies in Kid Icarus. Just the big nose and the mustache and the big bulbous eyes. The Groucho Marx mask. You probably see it in like cartoons and junk. What are we talking about? Lorte, we are talking about Pokemon because it's Pokemon's birthday. Just, well, it just passed, but Pokemon, you know, everyone loves Pokemon. What do you guys think of Gen 4 remakes? You finally got it. And this might be the very first time I play Gen 4 because I skipped that gen. I I don't know. I'm I'm kind of indifferent. The 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 legends looks amazing. Like, okay, well, I say it looks amazing. It looks like amazing in concept, but I don't know if y'all know this. Game Freak are pretty bad at de developing games. <laughs> They're really bad at it. Um, yeah, the remakes... Well, it's good that the remakes look more faithful than the... Because uh, I don't like the X and Y style for Omega Ruby. I, I, I didn't even bother finishing Omega Ruby. And Ruby's my favorite. So that was... it. Honestly, it was just because it was so easy. My Sceptile was at almost like level 45. And I didn't even beat the fourth gym. No, fifth gym. Just after the fourth gym, he was already at level 45. Like, what? Why is it so easy to level up? And I, I don't like that. I, I remember when I was younger, like, Pokemon... Like my Sceptile barely evolved back back when I played it. Like my Grovile evolved into Sceptile at the Norman fight. But now it's cause I maybe it's cause it was my fault, honestly. I kept the EXP share on, but just because I didn't want to grind. But it kind of fixed the problem too well, is is what they say. No, a little town here, yeah. That's the thing. You, we know that, like, that doesn't even cover the half of it. Like, Game Freak is really just bad at coding. And and it, there's this post I read. Now, this was for Sun and Moon. Maybe they fixed it. I really doubt it. But they they would show how completely irrational the way they set up their models in game. Like, they would. A rational game developer would make one model of a character and rig it and all that stuff and make make it attached to all its animations, right? Like, oh, here's my running in, excuse me, here's my running animation, here's my walking animation, and then for something more complex, for a cutscene. Here's my cutscene one animation, here's my cutscene two. But for some reason, Game Freak, when they do cutscenes, they copy, they duplicate the whole model. And that takes up so much unnecessary space. And they do that for every area. So let's say Route 1. Oh, uh, Lily is in a cutscene in Route 1. Oh, but L Lily is also in a cutscene for Route 2. So every time the game boots up Route 1 and Route 2, it copies two models of Lily that are unused. And it's insanely like what's what's the word not um optimized unoptimized horribly optimized and we've known this since the old days because remember the story about iwata like how how pokemon barely fit johto into the game boy cartridge and then iwata basically came works on it for like a month or two and he's like oh here's all of kanto that's because iwata probably knew how to competently code and fixed it <laughs> Now, if there's one thing they are good at, they may not be good at uh, optimizing their graphics, but they're probably good at optimizing their sound because Matsuda, the cre the head creator of Pokemon and like the main music guy, 
well, he's the music guy. Like, he, Matsuda it has been d doing music since, like, the old days. And they're probably, they probably know how to optimize their sound channels and whatnot. They probably know their sound coding pretty well, because that's where he got to start. But their graphics uh, stuff, ever since they were ape, uh, ape whatever ape ape enterprises the, the guys who made mother because remember the guys who made mother they they uh, an earthbound they used to be called ape that became game free you could even tell back then that their optimization for sprites wasn't that good earthbound was not a very well put together game animation yeah so pokemon is too valuable of a franchise for game freak honestly because game freak needs to up they just like, they should just hire more people, like, and that's why I really think Monolith should help Pokemon with, uh, with, uh, the Arceus game. Arceus. Sorry, it's Arc. it's been confirmed Arceus now. Um, like, the art style, I don't mind Pokemon changing up its art style, but I hope they optimize it properly. I hope they're not going to duplicate that Chibi Dawn 50 times just for one cutscene. Brilliant Diamond, yes, Brilliant Diamond is being made by another company, and that's why I think it's going to be great. Because it's not Game Freak. <laughs> and that's why Pokemon Snap looks so good. Because it's um, Namco, Bandai, and they are amazing. They made Smash. They they make Tekken. Like, honestly, if, if, if it was up to me, I would give a, a remake... Uh, next level, maybe. Next level, I feel like, are more action-oriented. Because that's their big thing. They need to... What would be... If next level did work on Pokemon, the animation would be top tier. Like, they would... If anything, a next level could have helped with Snap, too. I'm just making sure the hand is right. Um, next level could have worked on Snap. And that would have been good, too. Would have been real fun. But I like the Namco's working on it. I feel like they're better with environments. Oh yeah, Pokken Tournament. Uh, Pokken. Pokemon Tekken or whatever. That was good too. It was great. Because it wasn't Game Freak. And I like really think about this. There are game companies. Game Freak is like so close to Nintendo. They probably got the Switch. They had the Switch hardware earlier than most people. And even they couldn't take advantage of it properly. Because they're not that good. They're not that good at coding. They're not that good at optimizing the graphics. They are horrible at that. And they've been horrible at that since the beginning. Sound? Pretty great, actually. That's why Pokemon music is always really great. And there's always so many Pokemon tracks. Hell, they even did the old... Uh, the, the music change based on area like Banjo-Kazooie did on a Game Boy. Like, think about that. Like, that's my favorite part about Banjo-Kazooie is the fact that the music changes based on your area so seamlessly, and Pokemon was able to do that on a Game Boy. So, like, they have the talent, they just don't have it in the in all the proper places. Like, good lord, like, they need to get some better um, graphics. Oh, already, Luin? Don't worry about it. Um, I will be... I'm doing this every day. If you read the description of the stream, I don't know how it shows on your guys' end, but I'm doing this every day. So, <laughs> 1 o'clock. This is the time I'm going to be doing it, and I'm probably going to do an average 3 to 5 hours, maybe even 7. But, okay, so just making sure the keys are proper. Every day. I want this thing done. I want this thing done. Guys, I really... I'm upset that this is taking so long. It hasn't been an easy couple of... Uh, it hasn't been an easy 20, 2021 at the moment. But it, it's more of... It's it's just been slow. Oh, so a lot of it is on me. I haven't been as motivated and or just in the correct headspace. But, uh, yeah. I do, I do get super motivated when I stream, though, and this helps so much. You have no idea. 
Especially because of you guys. You guys make it so much worth it. I shouldn't get in that headspace though, you know, because I mean, like one of the one of the most discouraging things, which shouldn't be, I understand, I shouldn't be discouraged by this, but one of the most discouraging things about me posting stuff is it's getting no recognition on on Twitter and YouTube. I get like I get just the amount I need. I feel like YouTube's great, and I'm getting the kind of following I expect, but uh, I get jack shit on Twitter, <laughs> like. It's a miracle I get like two two likes on Twitter. Even something that I even even the bolt even the shit I don't make. And that's a bad headspace to be in. Don't think about that stuff. Oh man, this is a hard angle. I don't want to think about that. I shouldn't I shouldn't think about that, but it's a bad habit. Uh, you should never compare yourself to others, but it's hard not to. Joaquin, hello there. I said that right, right? You know, I haven't, I haven't seen, I haven't seen the movie trailer yet. I, I, I've been, uh, mixed things with Mortal Kombat, because like, I, I should love it because of you know the Chicago Pride. That's where it's like, it's, that's if if you think of Chicago in video games, like that's more Mortal Kombat. That's where the most famous, you know, Nether Realms, Midway back in the day. That was, that's hometown. So I should really love it. It's just, it's fighting style just never meshed well with me. I was hella more into Street Fighter or the Versus series or especially Killer Instinct, which that one's also developed in Chicago. But, um, you know, I, I totally respect it. Like, it's, it's a fighting franchise. It's a long-running one. And it got back into being a fighting franchise. Like, I don't know if you, you were around during the Versus DC uh game but that was uh, not a very good one they had to they had to like get their stuff together and they're like you know what we gotta we gotta get back that crowd that actually likes fighting games for being fighting games and not just being a crossover thing i, I want to i want to play that new ghosts and goblins game real talk uh i don't know if i'm gonna be buying video games a lot it is only thirty bucks, though, ain't it? It's it's a cheaper one. Touch that keyframe. Shoot. Well, I mean, the characters are the reason I love Killer Instinct so much. Killer Instinct makes me legitimately jealous of how good their character design is. I remember when they did the redesign of Riptor. I was legitimately like, "Damn, I'm mad now because I didn't think of this." <laughs> It is like, it is a top five. What happened to Dr. Seuss's birthday? Is it Dr. Seuss's birthday? Is it? March 1st? I always thought it was like, I always thought it was like the, the third or something. I always thought it was like 33. But then again, I, um, I need to check out this. Oh yeah, I love Killer Instinct. That that's a top ten, like, like straight up, like top ten video games. Like that's how much I love that. That's how much I love Killer Instinct. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna start cleaning up these. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. And a big breakfast, so that's the one hard thing about streaming is like during the later, during the time of uh, stopping, uh, I get real hungry because <laughs> I have quite the appetite. <laughs> have you ever played Guacamelee? I I played the first one. I didn't try the second one. Uh, I love the first one. I like how they owned up 
to the uh, the meme jokes because like that was literally anyone who if you ever watch anyone review uh, Guacamele, everyone's like, yeah, it's pretty funny, but some of the memes get old. And then in the sequel trailer, I remember they're like, oh, you think memes are old? Well, here's some more memes. They're going to just own up to it. So that not only tells us that they're listening, that also tells us that they're listening and they uh, don't care. I haven't, I haven't played it, though. Um, but I remember loving the hell out of the combat, loving the art style, and loving the music. Um... And yeah, it's a great game. The only thing I, I, I had trouble with in that game was the... Uh... I think, like like all Metroidvanias, they have that part where you got to backtrack and run at 100%. Uh, and for some reason, I remember it being especially slow in Guacamelee compared to other ones. But it's been, I haven't played it since it was out on Wii U. So, and that's where I played it. So I, my memory could be failing me there. Because I'm old. I remember. Okay. Grappling hook, that's cool. Backtracking could be great if there's more areas that lead because of backtracking, which is why I love Hollow Knight so much. Because Hollow Knight is so damn big, you could be backtracking, but then find an entirely new area. And I love it for that. That that was amazing. That was almost bad. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even need to. I'm drawing things I don't have to, so. Here's another word of advice. Don't draw stuff you don't have to. Yep, Hollow Knight is mine too. It's another top fiver. It's weird. It's weird because like it, it when whenever someone tell when whenever you think about like everyone loves making like top ten lists and whatnot, and when you just straight up have to think of your favorite video games, sometimes it's really hard to put a game that's really recent in your top ten list. But Hollow Knight and Killer Instinct are two games that even though they're newer, they're hella deserving. And definitely a big part of why I love video games. The same thing with anything. Like, if you ever think of your favorite, like, it's just food. Like, how often would someone just be like, yo, this is my new favorite food? Like, that's not common because normally someone's favorite food is something maybe their parents cooked or something they ate a lot as a kid or something. Killer Instinct 3 is, well, it's funny because you say it's old. I mean, it's Xbox One, so it was an Xbox One launch title in 2013. And yes, 2013 is pretty old, but it's not as old as Pokemon or like the original Pokemon games or Donkey Kong Country 2, which is about as old as I am. Like, I've been playing Donkey Kong Country 2 since I was two, but... Killer Instinct, I got into and came out when I was still in college. And despite that, I would rank them both very closely together to how impactful they were. Oh yeah, well, the original was a 90s game. Yeah, Killer Instinct was, funnily enough, to out the same year as Donkey Kong Country, the first one. 1994. But the new one was Xbox One, and it was... It's goddamn perfect. It's so good. It is really good. Like it, and the, the the bigger thing about it is it shouldn't have been good. It everything was against it. It was an Xbox One launch title by a team of people that like barely did any game development on a franchise that was old as hell that barely anyone remembers but is very treasured. Everything should have went wrong. If you want someone to gush about Killer Instinct, watch. Uh, 
Maximilian. He loves that game too. That's one of his favorites too. You know, the fighting game guy. He named it the game of the decade. That's how much he loves that game. Younger people, uh, I. That's the thing. Uh, the best way to learn is through. Uh, what is how's the saying go? Experience is the best teacher. I didn't learn animation from school. Like I technically learned a few things. Like all the all the big important things uh, I've learned about animation were I would say self taught or learn from YouTube. It was never school. School helped me practice, but it didn't help me get better at it. If that's what, if if that makes sense. If anything, all the school, all the stuff I learned at school was more of the process of it rather than actually doing it. So, like, if you want, if 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 someone at that age wants to learn some anything animation or drawing or whatever it is they want to do they're going to learn it themselves they're going to start looking it up themselves like when i was well when i when i was that age i wasn't really thinking about my future it might, it might be a bit soon to pick something for yourself if you know what i mean but um the when I was when I was that age, I was still just I was mostly just doodling, so I knew I would want to do something with drawing, but I didn't think about animation if for games and and TV until I was in high school. That's when I th thought about okay, yeah, I'm gonna definitely be doing animation, as like that's gonna be my thing. Uh, what do you think of the Smash DLC? Look. I, I'm a little mixed. I, uh, I'm not... Pyra and Mithra are a cool um, uh, character. Like, I, I've always wanted another character that does the down B to switch styles, like Pokemon Trainer. I've always wanted more of that. Like, please. That's basically two in one. That's cool. Uh, and Xenoblade is a popular franchise. And it's cool and all. My only thing is, I don't like the story of Xenoblade 2 from an outsider's perspective. Because, let's be frank here, all the blades in Xenoblade are basically waifus you capture to do your bidding. And that does not look good. That, that, that doesn't. We can't, we can't ignore that. The fact that Pyra and Mithra had to be censored, their costume had to be censored, but Bayonetta's didn't, should say something. You know what I mean? Like, Bayonetta is a character that's supposed to be, like, sexualized because that's kind of the point of the... It's kind of the parody of it. Like, she's, like, super sexy, but she's also, like... She's supposed to be a symbol of how it's exploited and how, like, a strong female protagonist can also be sexy and whatnot. I, I haven't played Bayonetta, but that's all the things I hear about it. So, it may be a mixed message, but, you know... Yeah, exactly. Xenoblade Chronicles, yeah, it feels like pandering. Like, that's what I think. Because I remember looking at Xenoblade 1, I'm like, yo, this looks great. Xenoblade 1 looks like a genuine, 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 genuine game that looks really good. And the art style looks unique. I love, you ever look at the concept art of Xenoblade 1? I love it. I love the way it's colored. But then Xenoblade 2, I really hate the character design in that game. It's so forced. And not even just the, the the females that are barely dressed. But even look at Rex. Like, look at his weird pants. Like, what is he wearing? Like, like Rex. Rex has... Rex's pants are, like, open around the crotch. And then they're, like... Like, it's, it's very it's very dumb. It's not Byleth dumb, but it's still dumb. The character design is too damn much in Xenoblade 2, where I thought it was perfect in Xenoblade 1. I thought the character designs in that game were amazing. Uh, and that goes that goes the same with Fire Emblem. Like, why are all the characters from Fire Emblem Awakening so stylish, but all the Fire Emblem games afterwards look garbage? 
overly design. Like Corin with his weird shoeless thing. I mean, I guess it makes sense for him because he's a dragon. And then Byleth, don't get me started on Byleth. I hate that character design so much. Who told Rex it was okay to uh to be outside dressed like that? Uh nobody. Nobody. Because nobody speaks right in that game. <laughs> Because Awakening looks like, man, they may they may look a little silly because Lucina has those big boots, but at least they look cool silly. But yeah, I really I genuinely think if Byleth's design wasn't so garbage, less people would be mad at it. Uh It's, I, I, it's weird, because I don't hate Pyra's design. It, it's silly, but it's like Bayonetta silly, almost. The strap things around the, the crotch area are kind of weird. I don't know what their purpose is. I don't think they have a purpose. But other than that, it's like, it's fine, whatever. She's a sword, so it makes... She's an overly complex sword, so it makes sense for having an overly complex design. Same with Mithra, I guess. Well, it's a good thing they closed the damn cleavage because that was unnecessary. What the hell's a sword gonna have cleavage anyway? Swords are meant to cleave, not to have cleavage. If anyone made that joke. Um. Oh, imagine Kirby. Don't imagine Kirby. No, please don't imagine Kirby getting crazy weird designs. Please no. Kirby is too good. Um, I hear Three Houses is the best game. Um, but you're asking the wrong guy, buddy. Uh, I've never played one. I've never had much interest. Well, I've kind of had interest. I don't know. It's like... It's definitely, it's art style and storytelling definitely feel very anime, and it's not something I'm into. Oh, that's true. DDD does look a little different. He looks better in Smash than he does in the games. It's because they separated his eyes. Um, that's really just it. They're separate and a little smaller, and that's very jarring because... If there's one thing any character designer will tell you, any professional character designer will tell you, is it's all in the eyes. It's all in the eyes. If you get the eyes wrong, then your character design is going to be really hard to warm up to. Um, that's why Nuts and Bolts Banjo looks so off, because it's it has nothing to do with the blockiness. It's those freaky little eyes that are, like, realistic... Like, I think the Banjo Nuts and Bolts design is fine. Just get rid of those weird little beady eyes. They're so freaky. I've even seen someone Photoshop ed edit the, the classic eyes on the Nuts and Bolts models, and they look fine. Like a Robobot. Now, you know what Robobot should be? Uh, it should be an item. Could you imagine that? Like, a new kind of item that actually changes your moveset. Like, like I, I think Flood should be ripped off of Mario because that's a very stupid down special and turn Flood into an item. Same thing with the robot in Kirby. The robot in Kirby could be an item. Maybe a... Uh... Maybe the, uh, da, 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 da. I'm thinking of other items that could work more differently from traditional items. A uh, custom moves thing would, would be cool, but it is way so much balancing. So much balancing, and it's like, it's either, like, it's cool, but, like, if you're not going to bother balancing them, then there's not really a point to have it. Because, like, I remember Donkey Kong's tornado up B was so broken, it would kill you at literally zero.
Mario 64 piano should be in assist trophy. I'm surprised there's no haunted mansion. Uh, I'm surprised Luigi's mansion doesn't have the piano. Maybe maybe just maybe they should just have Mario Sunshine Mario as a separate character, completely different move set, um, and just let Mario Mario be his own thing. I mean, if we're gonna have four links, you might as well have another Mario. Or make it Egad. He's the one who built it. Make Egad have a moveset comprising of both the Poltergust and the Blood. I would be 100... That should be a, the thing instead of Mies. Who the hell wants Mies? I would want... I want Proto Man Mega Man. Bro, that would be amazing. Now, how about we mix the two things? We make Echo Fighters that are just... Use the custom specials from Smash 4. Like, Proto Man would have the Shadow Blade from 3. He would have the... Danger Wrap, because that was his other side B. And he would have Tornado Hold. And uh, Skull Barrier. And he would just be Mega Man. Echo. Perfect. Oh yeah, Cappy Dive should be a side special. You, you guys, I made a whole twit longer of all the things I want to change about Smash. I could go on and on. Like I, I, I'll probably link. I'll probably put it somewhere in the description or maybe even in the chat. Just finish this frame. I like. No, I mean I like me's having an outfit, but it's like. Some of them are, like, disappointing that they're me's, because they should totally be alternate costumes. Like, I want Ocarina of Time Link as a costume. Me moves uh, based on me sports. Yeah, that's what I initially thought they would have, but I understand that they're more like avatars and customizable. That makes sense. Uh... Batman and Spider Man. I mean, maybe. You know. Oh man, tangents, please. The war artist worst nightmare. How would you make the next game? I mean, how about uh, Air Ride 2? Can I please get Air... I feel like Air Ride is one of the most missed potential things ever. I want an Air Ride 2. They, they need to get back to that. Especially since they're not doing anything with Mario Kart or F-Zero. Might as well do Air Ride 2. Online city trial? Come on, that would be sick. With multiple maps? Like, just think about that. That would be sick. Yeah, exactly, Lorte. Exactly. Just online city trial. Get rid of top top ride. That could be like a a ten dollar or fifteen dollar like download title. They could do a Kirby's top ride bundle maybe if you really want that back but it's very unnecessary <laughs> have more maps have at least like kirby's air ride only had like 10 racetracks and that's very very small i think even less wasn't like 10 platforming uh jeez um it's weird because like Kirby, it's it's funny. I, don't, I mean, Kirby's meant to be as a character. They use him as like almost like a graphics test. You know, that's why Kirby games are always like the latest entries in a in a in a console's life cycle because it's like okay, we know this console in and out. Let's make a freaking amazing looking 
Kirby game. That's why Epic Yarn. Remember Epic Yarn and um, the clay one? What is it? A canvas curse? Rainbow curse? Um, oof. Okay, well, I finished this frame for the most part. I will be back in a sec. I want to refill my water. Thankfully, my computer is basically in the kitchen. Be real quick. Need my energy. Oh, just nick it. Yeah, Rainbow Curse looked great. Wii U. No, don't worry, it'll it'll come to Switch, right? Doesn't every game come to Switch eventually? Hopefully. Honestly, I still think Woolly World should have came. Because, okay, granted, I didn't try Crafted World, but it looked like it had half the charm of Woolly World. Yoshi being made of, like, plastic and, like, a toy fabric doesn't even close compared to Yarn Yoshi. Like, y like look at him. Look at Yarn Yoshi. Where, where's one? I have him. Uh, he's, I have the amiibo. He is... Precious in Woolly World. Like, that is the most adorable thing I've ever seen. Like, I love Woolly World. It is, like, the best Yoshi game. It's basically everything good about Yoshi's Island, but more... And you could be Mega Man Yoshi. Mega Man Yoshi. Literally two of my favorite things. Like, where could you go wrong? Make this nice. Boom, Yep, same here. Also, I'm in the minority, but I prefer Game Boy Advance Yoshi's Island just because it has those extra levels. Make sure to make his eyes blue. Red. Maybe red. Red works. Um, not all of them. I don't know. I, I, I don't like world on advance. Um, the colors are really washed out in that one. Uh and there's that's there's and also world didn't add any level. Uh, and three, three, it's like, well, three, three, it depends on taste, if you like the 16-bit, uh, bit look. Oh, did you say, uh, Lord's hair? Are you talking about Toad's voice? You want me to do Toad's voice? Ow. 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 
Mario 3 and GBA. Oh, you know what? You're right. Uh, Mario 3 GBA had those extra um, e-reader levels, so that technically counts. So that makes it better. New Super Mario Brothers. Honestly, I'd, I'd go nuts over hand-drawn anything. Okay, you want to know what, what should happen? And this is a long run. Okay, Game Freak is going to re... You know the next remix on the way is black and white remix. They're gonna come. They're coming. It's gonna be a long time, but they're coming. That game should be hand drawn. No more of this lazy, awkward three D model look. I want to see hand drawn, fully animated sprites for black and white. That would make it like already the best game. I don't think it's gonna happen. But that would be amazing. Because black and white has some of the best sprites, like, ever. Sick. Yeah, the, the, the idle animations, like, Scraggy's picking up his pants. Crocodile just going, squeezing his claws. Like, Crocodile looks so much cooler in black and white than he does in 3D. He doesn't look bad in 3D, but, like, I really miss his aggressive, like, like, he's always, like, like, red. He's gonna just tear your head off. Um... Save. Uh, I'm going to open a window as well and get real stuffy. Hopefully my neighbors aren't too loud. Yeah, Black and White had a, a, an amazing sprite. If only they didn't stop immediately after. Ah, oh, man. Come on. Shoot. Did I give him the wrong number of fingers? Crap. Okay. <laughs> I gave Kamek three fingers. Hold on. I gotta make sure. How many how many fingers did I give Kamek in the previous frames? I gotta make sure it's consistent. Come on, Flash, hurry up. Sixty-four bits, thirty-two bits, sixteen bits, eight bits, four bits, two bits, one bit, half bit, quarter bit. How many fingers did you have in earlier frames, Kamek? Okay, you didn't have fingers here. Okay, he only has three. Crap, <laughs> I'm drawing extra fingers. Supposed to be two. Just keep adding fingers. Let's give six fingers to on each hand. If a man had been born with six fingers on each hand, he'd probably count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, deck, L, go. Did I just reference Schoolhouse Rock? Uh, Why do humans need five fingers? Does the ring finger ever do anything? 
kind of useless. Also, mine is like weird and double jointed. Hey, monies. Word of the discourse. Wait, what? Pokemon is twenty five years old. Weird they celebrate their 25th anniversary by remaking their most meh games. No, I didn't say that out loud. <laughs> no, I didn't play it, so I skipped it. But <laughs> Gen 4 is not a generation I know much about. <laughs> but I do love giving it shit sometimes. Drill Dozer? No, I've heard of it, though. Is uh, the character from that game related to Dig Dug, or am I thinking of Mr. Driller? Oh, you know what that means? Yeah, another Gen 1 remake. Oh, speaking of Pokemon 25, I even got some of them cards. Or, I'm sorry, one pack of them cards. The McDonald's by me ripped me off and gave me, like, generic toys in, like, two of my Happy Meals. And I'm very pissed. Because Happy Meals ain't cheap. Just want a damn Trico card. My fucking roommate's got one. So he won't trade it to me unless I get a Squirtle, but I can't even get cards anymore. So I'm fucked. Totally ripped off. You've been old enough to vote for years, man. Isn't it 18? Heck, in in California where I'm at, they're trying to make it down to seventeen if you're uh if you're going to be eighteen that year. So if your birthday's in December, I think it is. If your birthday's in December and voting comes around and you're seventeen, you can vote. Y'all better vote. <laughs> because we definitely need some things fixed. But I'm not making this turn into a political chat. Please. No. Yo, Pikmin fan game. That's cool. Fan games are where it's at, man. But we can't talk about them. Because Nintendo might send the ninjas. Like. Like. Another Metroid 2 remake. <laughs> the best Metroid game. I, I freaking love AM2. At least Pokemon, I get it's because Pokemon is literally the highest grossing franchise in the world. So the, I understand that they're overprotected. I mean, it still doesn't mean it's right to do. But, you know, it's like... It's like, hey, we have our mediocre Pokemon game for sale for $60 plus $60 DLC. Oh, wait, you have a free game that's probably better than our game? Uh, I don't think I'm allowing that to happen. Oh, I didn't know that the, uh, there was a Toadette game, too. Psycho Waluigi. Look, if they're gonna make a Waluigi game, it's gotta be a uh, it's gotta be a tower defense. 
Waluigi's Waluigi's wall. Waluigi. Here's the th here's the thing about fan games, um, game companies, especially Japanese ones, and I'm this is a guess here. I think they have big ass egos. They don't want to see that an American can make a game better than they can with their own property. I think that's solely the reason. I think it's just ego. Which is weird because Sega's pretty cool with that. But I mean, Sega will take anything that makes gives Sonic a good word because God does he need it. Lord say, what do you think? <laughs> Lord say, you just want it. You just want to have Waluigi. You know, what's funny is I actually have a story boarded up. I never finished. I'm never going to finish it because it's already wrong. But I was going to make a cartoon where how Ridley got into Smash. And what it was going to be, it was going to be a bunch of characters that, like, people have requested. Like, uh, K. this was before K. Rule got announced. But it was K. Rule, Gino, Waluigi, Shovel Knight, and Ridley. And they saw the big Smash Brothers logo the 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 big fiery one and they were like running towards it and all of a sudden you see master hand and crazy hand they were uh they were like chasing him. was like no you're not allowed and they like smack shovel knight and hit k rule out of there and then waluigi's like so close he's like about to dive in and then he gets grabbed by crazy hand and he's like no no he's like crawling away and he's like ridley go you can make it and he throws ridley a poison mushroom and that's why he gets smaller because Waluigi gave him a poison mushroom so he could fit through the smash door. <laughs> I never finished it, but I always that, that's my headcanon is the reason Ridley made it into Smash is because Waluigi gave him a poison mushroom. <laughs> Master hand and crazy hand are like <laughs> Ridley's too big to be in Smash Brothers. Sakurai said so. It's one of my favorite shorts, too, is making that fat kid just get brutally murdered by Ridley for being annoying. I told y'all, man. Ridley always had a chance. It's only a matter of time. Ridley, you can't be a smash brothers. The mini mushroom made you so small you were lighter than water. Yeah, like a like a water bug. Like Sir Skip. Or ah. Do yeah, you guys know that video where it's just Sir Skit appears and it just goes ah. <laughs> I don't know why it cracks me up. It's cute. Use the lights for this. Just draw the damn thing. I have that video saved. <laughs> It's like such epic music, and then it's just, ah. When you, when you're a baby, when you, when you have a kid and he's trying, and you're trying to feed him, ah. I got caught a search skit. I remember it was a pain in the ass to find. Weren't they at, like super rare in the first wood? I don't remember where you find. Where do you find? 
Maybe it was behind a cut bush. Metroidvanias with a new game plus. Oh, yeah, that's true. Metroids don't normally go new game plus, do they? Did Hollow Knight have a new game plus? It's weird. Why? Am I should know this. I don't think it did. It's just Metroid games just do that thing where, oh, your la the last save point is right before the final boss, so it's just like, just keep playing. Kind of like how RPGs do. Maybe I'm thinking of... Huh. Maybe, I, maybe I'm just not good at catching Pokemon. I remember having trouble finding it. Uh... Blue is driving us. Sifting the night. No, I actually never thought I'd meet someone who hated Symphony in the Night, but I did meet uh, my friend's fiance. He was like, he he genuinely said man, he he was <laughs> he was a little tipsy, but he was like ranting about how like Castlevania. Should have never been like Metroid. It should be like a strategic uh, platforming game. And you know what? Uh, kudos. You know, I've never heard that take. I've never heard that take of someone being like, Sympathy of the Night made Castlevania more like Metroid. And that's why I don't like it. I've never heard that take before. So kudos to him. Friend of mine. I was like, huh, that, like, hey, when games have a point of no return, oh, that sucks. That's kind of why I don't like Sonic that much, but because, like, there are so many parts where it's like, oh, I, I wanted to explore a little bit, but no, you're shot out of a cannon, and it's impossible for you to go back. And that happens, like, all the time in the levels. But it's less important in the Sonic game because, well, what else are you going to collect back there? Rings? There's no re there's not much to collect. Oh man, don't have any hopes, Ivan. This Konami does not know what fun is anymore. Did you see the last Contra game? Oof. Biggest oof ever. Oh my god, what did they do to Contra? <laughs> oh man. I don't know if y'all saw that game, but it was rough. If even Gerard, the completionist, who I swear, like, almost never says games are bad. If even he thought it was garbage, then that's, that's saying something. Castlevania Mobile. I mean, if you want Castlevania action, just go just go with the that one Kickstarter guy with the Curse of the Moon or uh, Bloodstained series. I hear they're pretty they're 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 keeping the Castlevania fans happy. They're doing what Mighty Number no. Nine should have done for Mega Man fans, but thankfully, Capcom actually got Mega Man fans something again. Capcom, it's funny, because it's so weird. Like, Capcom went from treating Mega Man like hot garbage to, like, actually treating them like a treasured franchise. Like, what, what, what is with this back and forth? I don't know what it is. Like how we got a new Ghost and Goblins game. Like what? I'd have never thought we'd get a Ghost and Goblins game. Here it is with music from even the Commodore 64 version. So they went for deep cuts in that Ghost and Goblins reboot. And hey, like they did a Mega Man VR stunt thing a few a few weeks ago. Not America, not really widespread because of, you know, 
how the world is, but they did something with it. It's cool. Capcom actually cares about Mega Man again. They care, they care about Resident Evil again. They care about Monster Hunter all the time because it makes money. They care about Devil May Cry even. Like, what's going on? Like, Capcom actually doing good? They're still keeping their they're still keeping their Street Fighter franchise healthy. Sure, it's no new Dark Stalkers, but you know what they have is good. And I really want a Capcom versus game now, because they should take advantage of this. Well, where is this? Is it here? Where the heck is it? Oh, there it is. Copy this. Oi, hello, the Mario. Street Fighter and Fortnite. Yeah. Like, why not? Apparently, it was just to try and get Max in, which is hilarious. They're so hard in trying to get him. They're trying to get older people to play Fortnite because they'll they'll make it last longer. We're more dedicated fans. Older people are more dedicated fans. I mean, that's just a fact. Like younger kids, like they'll they'll play some. Well, you know what? That's not even true because like, it's not like most things that were targeted towards kids were things that last forever. I mean, we just celebrated Pokemon's twenty fifth anniversary. That was a kids thing. Now, is Fortnite gonna last twenty five years? I don't know. I feel like it's it's. Its appeal is more in its, like, what is, I, I honestly don't know what its appeal is. It, it, it's it's fun to play, but, like, there's nothing, does it really have an identity? Like, if there's a Battle Royale mode in a, in a different game with more in-depth gameplay mechanics, would it take over Fortnite? I don't know. I literally have no idea what Fortnite is. I've never played it, never really watched gameplay of it. I've only heard it through... I know it through reputation alone. I never had interest in playing it because because I'm not much of a shooter person, or I wasn't not much of a third person shooter person. I like Doom. Yeah, Pokemon has designs that are appeal, but are there any characters in Fortnite that are like recognizable enough to want to see in other media? Are kids dressing up as Fortnite characters in Halloween? Isn't the fun about Fortnite the fact that you're playing as other meme, pic meme picks? Like Thanos? Oh, yes. Mario has fortress levels. Mario has night levels. Play Fortnite. I, <laughs> I don't know what the correlation, but if there's one... Do you guys know that song, uh, Live For Now? I always think it's saying, play Fortnite. Play Fortnite. Da -da -da -da. It, it, it always sounds like that, and it plays all the time at like malls and shit. Fortnite. Like people are going to say play Fortnite and then I'm going to get it and then everyone's going to stop playing. Watch. Just like that's what happened with Fall Guys. I played Fall Guys and I enjoyed it. Uh, now everyone stopped playing it and then then people started playing Among, Among Us. I was like, fine, I'll get Among Us. And then I played it. And then people just stopped playing it. Well, I don't think people stopped playing Among Us, but I certainly did. Only because Among Us 
I never play Among Us without friends. There's no no reason ever to play Among Us without like chat, without your friends or people you know. When the doctor is Seuss, you can't you can't spell Samus without sus. Have you ever looked at Samus? She looks sus as hell. She's even wearing red as the like that's the main sus color. She's in space. Jackbox is the better party game. You know, uh, back when I was in Chicago, I tried to get hired at that, but I didn't do my research, so I was really dumb. Uh, but honestly, their games, I probably couldn't offer much in my... Um, what I could have done, because my animation is frame by frame, whereas Jackbox mostly does puppet style and more graphic art style. So honestly, it's like, I, what could I have brought? It would be like asking some, it would be like asking someone who does like realistic, super realistic, like photo art to do like Fall Guys. Like, no, that's not the appeal of Fall Guys. It's not at all realistic. It's supposed to be chibi and cute. Or vice versa. Somebody worked on Fall Guys to work on friggin' Doom Eternal. Art, art wise. Thank you. I can't go anywhere without seeing an Among Us crewmate because it's literally just a circle, a square within a circle, or a circle within a square. You know how common those shapes are? Literally everywhere. A rounded object with a square a rounded square like heck if you get rid of the line <laughs> you can see among us here in 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 Camix nose technically like look i could this is a rounded object it's an angry among us <laughs> but but i mean that's 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 actually smart character design. I won't lie. So simple that you can... It's like Kirby. I mean, technically, if you, if you thought more about Kirby, I'm sure you'd see Kirby everywhere. <laughs> you guys are like, oh no, Kamek's nose is sus. See, to me, sus will always be from YouTube poops, alright? Sus... I really miss some YouTube poops. There was this one I watched this in in high school called Robotnik Smokes a Two Dollar Bill, and I still it still plays in my head randomly, but I cannot find it. It's been deleted, and it breaks my heart. It's so good. <laughs> sauce, sauce. Link is sus. You bumbling metalhead. Okay, here's a question. Which Robotnik voice is better? The one from the Sad AM cartoon or the one they use in the video games? It's, it's a hard choice, honestly. I don't know who to pick. Because both are amazing. Both are surprisingly unique, yet both capture the character of Robot so perfectly. I have to give myself a promotion! I hate that hedgehog! Well, I wasn't talking sad AM. Well, that's a... Uh... That's a, that's a, that's I feel like that one's a little cheating because that's um is that Jim Cummings that does that am I, I mean adventures yes I mean adventures the YouTube poop one the one that says sauce and pingus that Robotnik I think that's one of the best that like he's perfect <laughs> he's so good but it's hard because I I do like the one from the games you know the 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 one the one that's still Robotnik to this day. 
the one that was in the Sonic Boom cartoon. I, I can't do his voice. His, his is a little shrill. So I don't know how good I'd do it. And we all know who's the best uh, Dr. Wowie. Oh, we don't talk about underground. When we find that media, we find Dr. Wowie. That's a good question. We might be able to cover the energy in the radar room. <laughs> Dr. Wowie, kidding me. <laughs> like you could tell that English was not their first. They, they probably just got the Japanese voice actors to read English lines. Like that's definitely what happens. What happened for Mega Man 8? Whoop Mega, whoop Mega Man. How did they keep that take? How did they keep that take? He literally said, whoop Mega Man. Like, he messed it up. How did, who thought that was okay? Did he, like, have an operation, like, right after that? Did he have to go to the doctor? It's so bad. Like, why? Oh, whoop. Ooh, 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 man. <laughs> oh my god, how? Mega Man? Always comes back to Dr. Wowie. Dr. Wally. Dr. White. Oh, no. Please. No, this isn't happening. Iris. No, this isn't happening. Like, like, uh, I've never, I've never played the next game past three. So, you know, I can even judge four or five for that matter. But five does have some of the greatest names in video game history. Duff McWhalen. Duff McWhalen. That is just so stupid and amazing. Duff McWhalen. There's a video on YouTube that's literally just someone screaming at the fact that his name is Duff McWhalen. His name is Duff McWhalen. I am. I keep myself up at night. His name is Duff McWhalen. Oh yeah, I know, and I'm not accepting it. His name will forever be Duff McWhalen. Although I think the name Volt Kraken is a little cooler. Than uh, Squid Adler, Volt Kraken just sounds 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 menacing. And Grizzly Grizzly Slash though, that's a good one. Axel the Red Rose, that's a that's an interesting one. Yeah, it was a, it was an American translator who did that. Gravity beat boot. Oh yeah, and Jap Japanese. Uh, uh, I, I, and it's funny because Mega Man X also has one of the worst names in history, Boomer Kwanger. How the hell did you get that? Why couldn't you just call him Boomerang Beetle? Like really, Boomer Kwanger? It's just trying to force the word boomerang into his full name. That would be like call instead of instead of spark mandrill, it's electromantricity drill. Like, what is that name? Boomer Kawang. Yeah, Gravity Beetle got lucky. And Gravity Beetle also has one of the best damn songs in the franchise. That song 
Amazing. Oh, I, I know what Kawaga, Kawagamashi, I believe, is what it is. But they put boom, boom, boomerang. It's like they put they took the word boomerang, cut it in half, and put the ang just at the end of kwang, kwanger for some reason. Whether they couldn't have just called it boomerang kwagi or boomerang beetle or kwaga kwaga rang or something, just anything better than boomer kwanger. It sounds like a sounds well nowadays. It sounds like an old person boomer. An angry boomer. Yeah, that's what Boomer Kroanger is. He's just an angry boomer. Kroanger. Like, what? It's a horrible name. Nitro Rad? Uh, which one? I, I watch him a bit. He's... Uh, I don't agree at all with uh, Pac-Man World 3. That game looks like garbage compared to 2. The voice acting was fine in Pac-Man World 3, but the gameplay looked like it was a slog. Was it him? I, no, wait. Was it him? Or am I thinking of someone else? I know someone like was a lot more... Uh, or a lot less harsh on Pac-Man World 3. Maybe maybe I'm thinking of King K. Nitro Red. Yeah, I, I like him. Uh, he did the... Fro I, I watched his Frogger Marathon... He's de he's definitely a gaming YouTuber though. Like he's got the face of one. He looks he looks like yeah yeah this guy. He's like oh hey guys I'm here to talk about video games and you know I'm just uh, ba boop -ba bang I'm gonna do video game talk yeah. Like more power too. I'm like you know he's 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 a cool dude, but he's got that he's got that energy to him where it's just like yeah, this guy reviews games on YouTube all right. Uh, hmm, okay, well, I got this random. Oh, didn't I? Uh, I don't remember that review, but he, he, he prefers the, he prefers the, the 64 one? Oh, Bra Brady is funny. I, I, I know him from, or I don't know him, but I, uh, the Crash Bandicoot review was pretty funny. Also, he was not one of the few people that didn't completely go nuts over the difficulty of Crash 4, which I respect. Because, yeah, I, it's, it's good that games are hard nowadays. I'm sick of games taking it easy. Like, you want the option to get your balls torn off by a game. Like, man, at least you guys got continues. Hey, I went to game des game design school just to do this, and I didn't even make that much money doing this. Whatever, man. School and college. Stuff they tell you that's going to be real important. Oh, yeah, bo Boomer Coanger wasn't, like, Boomer wasn't a thing until, like, re well, the term Baby Boomer has been around since, for, for a while. But we never started throwing it around as an insult until like recently. On um, NES Ninja Gaiden is where you draw your draw the line. I I like NES Ninja Gaiden. I think it's I think it's fine. It, it's hard. I still haven't beaten it. Fuck birds, <laughs> but uh, I still like it. Uh, I can't beat Battle Toads. Um, I cannot beat Battle Toads. It is uh, it's so damn hard. I can't do it. Um. Castlevania 3. That one is is bull it's bull crap. I hate that. I love and hate Castlevania 3. What the hell? Like the things the things you have to figure out in Castlevania 3 don't make sense. Like the final I mean it's the final boss Dracula and there's literally no way you're supposed to be able to tell how to dodge his attack. How, what how you're supposed to dodge it is it's based on distance. Like, for the final boss, Dracula, if you're too close to him, his attack his attack will be unavoidable. But his attack comes from the ground. So there's no, like, visual cue to tell you, oh, you're too close to Dracula. Now here's this flaming death pillar. 
but oh, you're slightly further from me. Now I won't make the death flame pillar too far for you. It's like, what? It doesn't make sense. And in the old, ca in the first Castlevania, when you die to Dracula, you you start, you have a checkpoint right before. But in Castlevania 3, if you get a game over at Dracula, you got to beat the whole level again. And it's like one of the hardest levels. Like, damn, Castlevania just kicks you every time you play it. It's maddening. I love it. It's a, it's a great game, of course, but I'd rather not, I, I, it, it could take it easy. Oh yeah, you know what, I haven't played their new, uh, their new uh, da, 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 Ninja Gaiden-esque game. I haven't even played part three of Shovel Knight, the the King, King of Cards. I was kind of like, I was really turned away when it went into like the card game, and I'm like, no, nah, don't. It made me think that this was going to be a bigger part of the game, and I didn't want to do that. Save his girlfriend. I think you're thinking of uh, Adventurous Animator. I think you're thinking of Ghosts and Goblins. Because Castlevania, there's never really a damsel in distress in Castlevania. It's more, uh, it's more just, hey, Dracula's alive again, you gotta kill him. I would want, um, I want to know what Inti Creates is up to. I wonder what they're doing. Uh, but yeah, Ghost and Goblins, I have a guilty pleasure for that one, too. It's, to be honest, not a very good NES port. Uh, it's kind of ugly when we're talking about sprite quality. It's got a lot of slowdown. It's not the best version. Uh, but, you know, it's one I grew up with. It's, it's one I played a lot. Let's... Oh, hey, Lewin. Uh, that's good. That King of Cards actually focused more on platforming l later in it. Or, but I, I just never got around to finishing it. I have it on 3DS, too. So, I don't know. I, I barely touch my 3DS. I still have it. I'm never going to get rid of it. It's the Metroid. Are you kidding? I think it's beautiful. It's the most beautiful console I own. Uh, right now we're talking about old games that are hard, that are stupidly hard, and apparent. And earlier we talked about Nitro Rad, and how oh boy, that's that guy plays video games all right. He he does that a lot. You guys notice that? He goes I bada boom, bada bing. He's like, yeah, I play video games. Yeah. And then there's his friend Ant Dude, who really likes the Kirby franchise, who always talks like this you know <laughs> I, I like ant dude too uh one of my favorites is also johnny some call me johnny <laughs> ant dude <laughs> yeah it's just i i want i listen to him so much it's just like i could i could the way to get an impression right is uh, listen to someone's mannerisms. Uh, so if you want to do an impression of me, apparently my main sound that I do is like, oh, shit. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I, I take some pride in my impressions. I, I, I do want to try and get into voice acting, especially since one of my close friends just got a, like a professional gig in voice acting. Um... Oh, oh man, that's a whole lot of Kirby. <laughs> I'm thinking of jo Johnny. He's just a chill dude who drinks a lot of coffee. Have yourselves a fantastic night, and take care. <laughs> He's so always with his his Britishness and always like God, the park is a grave. He's always angry, man. <laughs> Caddy is like Caddy. It's funny that Johnny drinks more coffee, but Caddy's the one who acts all hyped up on caffeine. 
It's so funny. I don't think I've ever pl uh, heard Mondo rake. Also, Johnny, like, I swear, his voice is exact. His voice and mannerisms are just like my brother. I think they're also the same age, so. He's got that very chill, very, very, uh, what is it, B personality, where it's just like, yeah, man, whatever, dude. Like, come on. Me. <laughs> Oh yeah, I did watch his Crash Four stream. I was upset when he missed when Dingo Dial said "bastard" but for the first time. He was like, "Dial bastards." <laughs> now I'm just thinking about Ant Dude <laughs> because I, I never actually did an Ant Dude impression, but like. Like before, that was the first time I ever did it. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, I know, I know his mannerisms. Who else do I watch a lot? I watch a lot of uh, Pokemon Showdown. I watch a uh, Pokemon MD and Blender, even though. Yeah, Pokemon even did a Golurk team for me. For uh, once. And uh, Blender with his horrible teams that, like, for some reason work for him. Who <laughs> I swear, every time he uses fucking Hurricane, he always has a T-Tar, and it's like, dude, Hurricane has half accuracy in the sand. Stop it! <laughs> As someone who hates missing in Pokemon more than anything, like I, I, no, hell no. That's why I use Golurk with no guard. We don't miss. AVGN is great. Ass. I think my pronunciation of ass comes from AG AVGN. My girlfriend pointed it out to me. She goes, why do you go ass? It's ass. And it's like, no, it's ass. Beat your ass. You gotta put an I, you gotta put like three eyes in there. Ass. I wonder if that's a, I wonder if that's a Philly or Pennsylvania thing. Is he from Philly or Pennsylvania? I get the two places mixed up. We'll start with the P. James Rolfe, when he's not ABGN, he's like a sweet dad. And <laughs> what he is, he's like, well, he's angry. Coney, Coney. Coney. Why does that one sound familiar? I feel like I know him. Not not person, obviously, but Oh yeah, ABGN game. I remember that. That was back when Screw Attack was a thing. I used to love that website before it became Death Battle. Not that I don't like Death Battle, but I miss their like top tens and like just random video game talks. Wait, well, yeah, he is a dad. You know, he he's he's got a seven year old. He's got a seven and a three year old, I think. And so is Caddy. Caddy's a dad too, ain't he? Right? Caddy, the Crash Bandicoot guy. At least that's what I know. I didn't grow up with Crash Bandicoot, though. So not much as... Manuka! 
and he did he did caddy did a review of all 10 Mega Man games and i was like finally someone who realizes Mega Man 3 ain't that good <laughs> compared to the others at least cuz i don't like 3 <laughs> Like, it's my least favorite, too. I agree with them on that. And I was like, finally, someone who sees it. Now, I wasn't as harsh. At, I'm not as harsh to 3 as he was. But, yeah, man, three, 3, it's, it's, it's the weapons. The weapons in 3 suck. They are horrible. Mega Man 4 is key. Damn right it is. I love 4. 4 is my favorite on NES. At least. Um. Snake and Top Man and Hard Man. No, don't worry. Don't worry. We don't have to go too deep into Brazilian comic. I mean, 3's got great stuff. It, it's where Rush came from. It's got, and, and as uh, one of you said, is the music. I love the music in 3. I feel like the music in 3 is the main reason people love it so much. The title screen, Snake Man's theme, uh, Proto Man's uh, whistle, even. Even some, uh, even the Get Weapon is, like, the best one in the series. Like, 3's music is amazing. Uh, its level design has some bullshit in it. Like, more than 2 and even 1. Uh, I think... Three and th three has that stupid. Part. Three has the first of all a lot of slowdown, right? Three and but I'm playing on the Legacy Collection on Switch, so you can actually basically get rid of slowdown. Yeah, Doc Robot stages those suck. Those like are terrible. Just put more annoying spot. Put more annoying things in stages that were kind of annoying already. And. Doc Robot boss fights are ridiculous. Like, those hitboxes are damn huge, and you need to make a frame-perfect jump. I dare any of you who have access to Mega Man 3, play, fight Woodman as the Doc Robot with just the Mega Buster. Try and beat him, because it's nearly impossible. That jump to get over him is frame-perfect, I swear. I hate it. Oh, and then, yeah, Rage Internet, you're right. The the bullcrap uh, Rush Jet section in the Needleman second round, where it's like, hey, uh, you ran out of Rush Jet, or you died. Now uh, you ran out of Rush Jet, so now you have to get a game over. Oh, man, yeah, 3 has a bunch of bullcrap. It has one of the most annoying enemies in the franchise with those little jumping things. Little, 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 and the weapon. It's, it's, it's the weapons. Out of all the things from three that I can't stand, it's the weapons. Why are they so bad? There, the, the three has the worst weapons in the whole franchise. Like it, and not to say they're all bad. Like magnet missile is pretty good. It drains like a motherfucker. Like you can only, it, it's two. It, it takes two bars per shot. It doesn't even do that much damage. The concrete shot in Mega Man 9 takes the same amount of energy, but it's hella more useful than that. And then, so, Magnet Missile, the one really good weapon, takes too much energy. Search Snake is okay, but Search Snake, the oh, adventurous animator, I do know about that cheat. That still doesn't excuse the bad level design. Um... But search, so you guys know in Mega Man 3, the annoying eyeball enemies, an enemy that's designed to be under your Mega Buster, yet the search snake is a weapon that travels on the ground. So you'd think the search snake would be good against the eyeball enemies when they're on the ground, but it phases right through them. So that's backwards level design. You know what's good against the, the eyeball things? The top spin. Which is why I think the top spin is actually okay. It actually kills the monkey things. It kills the parachute things. Um, it kills it, it kills Wily's final form in one shot. You know the top spin is actually all right. The spark shock is actually a weapon so bad you get hurt for using it. Even worse than the top spin because you can't put it away. If you shoot the top, if you shoot the spark shock on an enemy and it's in your the way of your path, you have to get hurt. You can't get rid of it. Yeah. 
it's it's yeah mega man mega man uh three's weapons are really bad needle cannon is literally has the exact same power as the mega buster i've tested that except of course against its robot master weakness but big whoop um i guess i guess it's fine if you really don't like button mashing but i mean just use turbo if you really need to gemini laser also it punishes you if you miss and you can't even pause to switch your weapon Gamma is just kind of like a, it's a cool looking boss. It's a giant robot, but it doesn't do much. It's not finished, so that that makes sense lore wise. Uh, but yeah, uh, the weapons in Mega Man Three, there are some that flat out punish you for using them, which is the Gemini Laser, the Spark Shock, and at times the Top Spin. I think the top spin makes up for it because it actually does kill some annoying enemies. But the Gemini laser and the spark shot do absolutely nothing for me. I made a weapon tier list a bit ago. And yeah. Most most of the most of the three ones are low. And that's why I don't like three that much. You you're afraid of clowns? You know what's funny? Because like clowns being a scary thing is apparently only an American thing. Uh I've never been afraid of clowns. I had a I had a badass clown growing up. Oh, what's funny is you mentioned that rage. Uh, their Slash Man, the sprites, were apparently animated by Disney animators, or not Disney animators, but people that were working on the Disney Capcom games. That's why he looks so like overly animated. Um. That doesn't excuse Slash Man for being the worst boss fight in Mega Man 7. I freaking hate his stupid tomatoes. Uh, party clown. Yo, I, I, I had a badass clown growing up. I thought he was awesome. They're just they, they're, they're just people trying to trying to do a job. It's a job. You know, it's just just like trying to make kids laugh or even adults laugh or adults do things. Yeah, there's clowns like that too. Um, clowns are not scary. What are you afraid of everything? Um, you were afraid. <laughs> Don't make me tell him about the teddy bear. <laughs> My fear is spiders, but that's cheating because that's irrational. Because I hate spiders, or at least I hate hairy spiders. Spiders are banished. Clowns? Nah, they're fine. They're just, they're just people in makeup. <laughs> like, all a clown is is just someone wearing weird makeup. Like, that's that's all it is. <laughs> Tarantulas are disgusting. Kill them. They burn them with fire. Clowns are fine. They're just... Under Undertale like spiders or Undertale like clowns? Undertale fandom once are are in love with the skeleton, so I think they they their 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 opinion cards are revoked. I have a fear of Doctor. Oh well, I mean. Wait, Luan, aren't you from Brazil? I don't know how healthcare is over there, but if it's anything like America, it's it's oof. <laughs> it's basically it's you might as you know in America it's basically like hey you get sick, um, how about don't just like get better because it's probably cheaper for you to just throw up in a yeah <laughs> how many zeros is that. Yeah, no, the American healthcare system is a fucking joke, and it makes me sick. But that would be going into politics. Yeah, I don't know. Undertale, I don't, I don't, I don't care about your fandom. Spiders are banned. I don't care if they're cutesy spiders. They're still banned. Banished, banished to the nether regions. Banished to the nether. 
And if Undertale disagree, and if the Undertale fandom disagrees with them, I'll throw a flower at them. I, I know what I know what spider you're talking about. But I mean, if it's just a spider and not a rancho, then fine. It's fine. But if it's a rancho, set it ablaze. Set it ablaze. Set it on set it on fire multiple times. Set the fire on it on fire. If you can. They do not have paws. Those are claws. Disgusting. What? You're kidding me. Louis. Jesus. Damn. That's totally unsanitary. That's not going to... That's not good. That's going to make it worse. You don't even, like, cremation room or something? Like, damn. Wow. What? Oh, man. I'm surprised there's no, like, scary movies set set place in uh, in Brazil and in an abandoned hospital. I can't imagine. Like, holy crap. Like, I, thankfully, have never seen a dead body except at a funeral. So, you know, I, 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 I guess I'm privileged in that. <laughs> that sounds like actual nightmare. That, that's awful. I'm so sorry. So maybe America, <laughs> maybe American healthcare ain't that bad. Then again, it is. <laughs> We just happen to treat the. We just happen to treat the dead a little better, I guess. I don't know. Boy, what what are you making? What am I making? I'm making a wizard in the shape of a fortune cookie. Yeah, this looks like a fortune cookie. Oh, speaking of horror, I just watched two of them the other day with my girlfriend. She, uh, she, we watched, um, what was it called? Uh, oh, what was it called? Freaky. Uh, it's, a uh, it's a horror movie, a horror comedy that is, uh, very true, Lorte. Uh, Freaky is a comedy based on, it, it's like, you know, generic there's a slasher killing teenagers but what happens is what he gets his hands on like a magic knife that switches the body with the teenager he stabbed and it was kind of and it's Vince Vaughn which is kind of hilarious uh and it was a, it was pretty good I like the movie very weird because like it, it basically has Vince Vaughn playing a high school it, acting like a high school teenage girl and having a crush on this teenage boy and it's kind of weird there's a scene that's just like uh, hmm. huh looks like wabba fett arm oh yeah and then the movie after i watched the nick cage one where it's basically five nights at freddy's with nicholas cage that's the it's called Willie's Willie's Wonderland, Willie's Wonder. I thought that one was good. Although I do, it, I I know what they were going for. Nick Cage doesn't say a single word in that movie. Yeah, chat. Um, and just give him some time. But yeah, um, Willie. Yeah. Uh, Nicholas Cage didn't say a single word that entire movie. And, uh, 
you know, he was played as the strong, silent type. And I was like, yeah, it, it was cool and all, but it's like, I feel like that's not using Nicolas Cage to his full potential, you know? Like, Nicolas Cage is supposed to be hamming it up with his one-liners and with his extreme facial expression. All horror movie characters are hilariously dumb. Well, yes, that's true. Well, when they're teenagers, but I mean, have you seen... <laughs> I, was gonna, I was about to... Make... I'm, I'm forgetting that the, av the average age of my chat seems to be teenagers and maybe a few older. <laughs> I shouldn't be making fun of the age group my chat is. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I mean, I was a teenager, too, and I was dumb as hell. Oh, The Thing. The Thing, they weren't dumb. They were smart. That's what made The Thing so good, because he was The Thing was still winning, even though they were smart. 11-year-old? Jeez. Huh. I mean, more power to you. I... 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 Lord, Lord Tay, I didn't know that. And Luann, I believe you're like 16, 15. I'm just happy that people, uh, kids your guys' ages are still talking about old games because Mega Man and stuff were old even when I was a teenager. Like Mega Man 9, like I was a teenager when that came out, when that was new. But Mega Man 9 is is was a retro game at that time so it, it's just it's good that you know y'all don't just go like hey new game is better because graphics or new game is better because violence because that's what teenagers were like when i was a teenager they were just like hey this game is better because you get to shoot and talk shit online because like i was i was a teenager in 2007 and that's when halo 3 came out and that's all people talked about. Grand Theft Auto 3 and Halo and um, not so much Pokemon. I mean, it was more of a niche thing. Oh, that's cool. Are the controls right on that one, Animator? Are, I, I, I heard that the GameCube version has B as jump. Teenagers now just like playing with their friends, which is a good thing. Oh, at least you guys have friends. I didn't. That was very. It was. Well, you know what? That's not even true. I had a lot of friends. A lot of them played Melee and Brawl. Oh, cool. Skater kid. Yeah, when I was when I was in high school, the big games uh, that were like not. Okay, we still played Smash, right? Brawl. Brawl was out when I was a teenager. Um, so that's what we were mostly playing. They were obsessed with playing Smash Brothers Brawl. They were obsessed with Yu-Gi-Oh. They were obsessed with hacking their uh, PSPs. That's, that's one thing that was funny. The PSP was new at the time. And I have literally never seen a PSP that wasn't hacked to this day. Like, that was the only reason someone would buy a PSP, is to hack it. Lights fall asleep. Give me a sec. Ah. Damn it. Ah, oh, my leg. It's probably a horse or something. So basically, the 3DS. Well, I mean, I haven't hacked mine. But that's because I'm, I'm too nervous. Plus, I had no real reason to. It's like, I have a PC, so if I need to get some of that that good good stuff, I'll just do it on PC. San Andreas. Um, I have, let's see... High school, high school. I'm, I'm trying. I'm like trying to flash back here because the Wii was just new at the time. Two thousand six, it came out. 
Well, it wasn't that. Brawl was new. Brawl was the th the only thing we talked about. We were like, yo, like every day, um, we were like, yo, what's Sakurai's update? What's the update? Did it just, uh, is new character new anything? Don't I don't think your average fourteen year old Mega Man fan. Well, yeah, I didn't have many. I didn't have too many friends. Well, I did have a few senior year, sophomore, freshman year. I didn't uh, have too many friends. Sheltered home too. Oh, small town, yeah. It's hard to find friends close, that's the thing. That's pretty rough. Because now that I'm thinking about it, who did I talk to a lot? I think the, the most disappointing thing for me is, like, some people I talk to a lot, believe it or not, were from DeviantArt. <laughs> like, that old website. And I still have it. Um... Um, but literally anyone I talk to, anyone who I ever used to talk to in high school or even a bit in college that I've talked to online, I basically don't talk to anymore. And they don't even watch my stuff. Because, like, it's weird because they, they know me because of my artwork. They know me because I would post fan art of Mario or Mega Man stuff. And they would know me because of that. And it's like, hey, I'm still doing it. Um, but they just kind of stopped talking. And it's really weird. Honestly, it's just weird. I'm still in eighth grade. Can't wait to go to high school. Oh, certainly you. Uh, I don't even know how to explain it. I, I get, you know what? You're right. Eighth grade is, high school is better than grade school. I hate, hated grade school. That was garbage. I hated it with fiery passion. The worst years ever. Like, I hated 7th and 8th grade. Absolutely the worst. Like, good God, those are the worst grades. Well, can you contact them? You're right, Rage. I, should, I mean, it's not like I... I mean, I, I, we follow each other on Twitter, but, like, anytime I, like, comment or something, they don't really have much to say to me. It's almost like... It's almost like it's going over their heads. That's what it honestly feels like. My last grade school was bad. Yeah, grade school sucks. I I can genuinely cannot think of any good memories coming from grade school, except maybe something funny that happened in the lunchroom once, and that's it. But God, like, grade school is the worst. And it feels like all the information you learn there is completely useless. I would argue the stuff you learn from high school is pretty useless, too. You can never go wrong with math, though. Math is always technically important. Because, like... Math is only really important because it makes sure it makes you aware, like, just the value of things, honestly, money and stuff. Uh, do, do, do. Start at size. Oh, forgot Tyler's asleep. My leg is killing me. It feels like I'm like bruises. Hey, what's up, night sky? Oh yeah, midway. I guess it is open now. My leg is killing. Me. It's like it's like a cramp. Damn it. Oh. I gotta, maybe I gotta stop sitting wrong or something. Like I gotta, I gotta adjust my posture. Sorry about that. Um. Well, what's funny? Mid Midway is is just a general term for like the Midwest, which is where I'm from. Uh, it's the name of the airport that I lived by and worked at. 
uh, before I moved to California. And it also happened to be the name of a game company. So it's a, uh, it's a uh, very, very common. Like if you ever hear Midway, normally you think of like something from Chicago or even just Illinois in general. No, that's okay. It's all good. I mean, I'm trying to think of the most valuable things I actually learned from high school. When you where I'm from, we start school at four years old. Uh, that would be preschool in America. There is technically preschool, if that counts. Um, then kindergarten is five. And then at six years old, first grade, and it goes to eighth. And then four years of high school. So yeah, just four, four it's about the same here. Crank the weasel. Midway games. If only. I just talk about school a lot, honestly. But it's like, I haven't been to school since... Damn. When did I graduate college? 2015. 2015. And it's certainly gotten me uh, somewhere. I mean, I'll be re I'll be frank with y'all. It's more the more important things I've learned from school was not the stuff the teachers taught me. It was the things the other students have taught me and the people I have met. Like straight up, both good and bad people. If there's one super valuable thing I've learned from high school that actually feels like it helped me, is um, in through my life is that. Um, if there's anyone you hate in your high school, um, you are definitely going to meet a lot more people just like that person. Like, don't, don't expect, don't expect that to be a minority. There is a lot of garbage people. So many, like, holy crap. Like it's, it's practically a 50, 50. If you're going to, if, if you meet a hundred people in your life, you're going to hate 50 of them. And that's something that taught me. That's something that high school definitely taught me. You're gonna hate, yeah. You're gonna if you meet a hundred people, you're gonna hate fifty of them. So don't even bother trying to be nice or change yourself because the other fifty are probably just gonna be chill, or at least totally indifferent. You'll realize those are some of the most valuable people you meet are the people that are completely indifferent that couldn't care less or more about what happens. Because they're going to be the ones most honest with you. You're going to be like, yeah, it's kind of, they're going to be like, you are know, like, oh yeah, uh, that's kind of cool. Or yeah, you kind of suck. Like they're not doing it because they dislike you. These certain people that are like indifferent, they're doing it because they're just, they don't care. That's one thing. I had a teacher that was real as hell. Thankfully, my art teacher in high school was real as fuck. Like, he would tell me about, like, like his really crazy, like, I, get, I, I would say, like, not very appropriate for school stories. And here I am. I'm, like, 14, and he's telling me about how crazy the world was back then. And he straight up told me, he's like, look, look, kid, the only reason school even exists is for kids to be better factory workers I'm like 14, man. He tells me this crap. <laughs> like all this woke stuff. And I'm like, oh, okay. So life is pretty meaningless then. And he's like, yeah, pretty much. As a matter of fact, most of this stuff doesn't matter. Hopefully you break the cycle. He was like Rick from Rick and Morty way back when I was 14. When I was actually 14. The same age as Morty. Except he wasn't like 
drunk all the time. He was, well, maybe he was. Oh, that's a good one, Night Sky. 100 bad days. See, the thing is, all y'all are still like like high school age, so I can't tell you my good stories because they ain't very age appropriate. <laughs> I really can't. I, 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 I shouldn't. I'm not going to tell you guys the things I have done, especially with my face on camera and while streaming. I cannot tell you. <laughs> Especially about my younger sister here. And in fact, my younger sister is actually old enough to hear these stories, but still. Jamie, weren't you like, uh, then, yeah, you were like only uh, four years apart? Maybe three? I don't remember. I don't remember numbers. I barely remember how old I am. I think the last time I checked, I'm 27. 27. Yes, 27. 93. I'm going to be 28 this year. Right, right. See, when it, it comes to a point where you kind of forget. Like, you you know you're getting old when you don't remember how old you are. Um, I mean, to be blunt, yes, Rage Internet. Um, or um, stuff put, just stuff, other stuff. Anything that would up the age rating, you know what I mean? Yeah, but this, yeah, 15 ain't old enough to get into an R-rated son. And I worked at a movie theater, and a bunch of 15-year-olds would always try and sneak into the R movies, and they would get mad at me for it. Even though it's like, bro, if you're going to try and sneak in, at least don't make it obvious. Here's my advice for you, Lord Tay. If you're going to sneak into an R-rated movie, don't ask for the R-rated movie first. Make it subtle. Make it like, hey, I want to watch whatever animated movie is out. And it's like, yeah. And genuinely act like you're going to watch the animated movie. Like, there are some dumb teenagers that are like, oh, can I see Hatchet, Death, whatever R-rated movie? And I'm like, uh, I'm sorry, I need to see an ID. And they're like, oh, you gotta be, uh, it's rated R. And you're like, okay, well, I'll see Happy Fun Time animated movie. I'm totally gonna watch that. And it's like, bro, now it's so obvious that you're going to try and sneak in, you stupid kid. And they get mad at me. I, I would get yelled at by the, by, the, by the stupid guests at the movie theater. They're like, man, why, why won't you let me watch this movie? He's like, how did you know? And it's like, oh, no. Nah. You guys are so quick. Oh, man. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I just got really mad because I was just thinking about my old job. The job sucked. <laughs> Oh, what? Huh. I, I mean, then again, now, I don't know much about Brazil, but if there's one thing I do know, it's that um, y'all have uh, much more lenience when it comes to dirty stuff. But then again, I don't know. I don't know anything about Brazil, Luan, but, like, that's only of... Even you got invited. That's so weird. Ugh. It's kind of rough for the women in Brazil, huh? Because like they have, like, un like they it's the defining unrealistic body proportions in media, right? Oh yeah, Rage and I know about that. The uh, the Street Fighter scene where she's fighting Vega. God, that's horrible. Wait, vice principal in a grade school? Jesus. Ugh. Man. Uh, Vega from Street Fighter. Or, oh, well, uh, American Vega, so Claw. I, I forgot about that. Oh man. I won't I, I bet it's really hard for you, Luann. Or like not not hard for you as in like what I mean to say is 
Brazil, from what I hear about Brazil, is it's like sex is everything. Uh, don't let it fool you. Don't let it get in your brain. It's not true. Don't let it control your life. Because it doesn't lead to anything good. There's, there's surprisingly a lot more interesting and fun things to do. Um, yeah, um, M. Bison is Vega in Japan. Yeah, I know about that. Um, yo yeah, Vega is a weirdo. That was more like, I did laugh more like Brooke from One Piece. Um, yeah. I mean, it's not that much better in America. Like, they tend to censor it a lot more here. And it's really weird because Amer one thing that's really weird about America versus, like, um, countries on the other side of the globe, like Japan and Europe, is... Uh, they, with America, they don't give a crap about violence. Like, there could be, there could be someone's head chopped off, and it could technically be written around to be a PG movie. Like, even Alice in Wonderland, like, that's PG, even though there's multiple scenes where there's someone's decapitated head. But if you even include one nipple, that's PG-13. Even if it's a male, even if it's a male nipple, that's PG thirteen because America is a lot more sensitive with sex stuff, and that, and I've noticed that working at the movie theater, it's like there would be like a parent with his kids, and he'd like he'd be like, hey, uh, does this movie have have any? He, he didn't speak English well, but he's like, does this movie have any any anything bad for kids? And he's like, does it have any sex stuff? And I was like, oh no no. He's like, and he go and he literally goes violence. Okay, I don't care violence. Sex bad. And I was like, really? Shouldn't it be the other way around? Shouldn't we not be showing violent stuff to kids, but be totally okay with, like, something natural? Like, I don't know. That's... It, it's really weird to me the more I think about it. Like, oh, here's a video game where you could, like, break someone's spine. Um, but no, nah, it's fine. Just let your kids play it. But, oh no. Half a boogie. Uh, X rating. Yeah, perfectly said, Lorte. <laughs> and you know what that leads to is um, violence in schools, you know, and I, it's almost a normal thing. I wonder how that is, uh, Luann, how is that in Brazil when it comes to uh, school violence? I'm sure you guys are probably... You guys probably have better gun laws than we do. Then again, that's me going back into politics, which I shouldn't be. <laughs> ah, stupid light. Well, I mean, yeah, well, to each their own. As long as, I mean, I'm not saying we should ban video game, violent video games. I'm not, what's his name? Uh, what was his name? I forgot his name. I'm not Mr. Oh, we can't have any money. I'm, I'm talking about just like if, if the kid's smart, if it, it's, it's case by case. There's going to be a kid that's 14 that's going to be mortified or traumatized by, by something as simple as Banjo Tooie's Gruntilda's head coming off. Oh, guns are straight up illegal in Brazil. Oh, that's a very alien concept to Americans. They are obsessed with guns for whatever reason. I think that I think they're pretty pansies. It's I, I find that it's stupid irony that they think guns are a sign of manliness when it's more manly to punt, take someone out with your bare hands, ain't it? <laughs> but anyway, oh yeah, drug trafficking. No, I. That's that's a South American thing, ain't it? What, Lord? Lord, say what state are you in? 
Because that could either be really crazy or not too bad. Because apparently in Colorado, was it Colorado? No, not Colorado. Um, my friend was from, uh, where was he from? Was it Colorado? It might have been Colorado. It might have been Colorado. But like, since hunting's a big thing in this certain state my friend was from, he said people in high school just brought their hunting rifles and it was fine. Hey, man, I mean, everyone's a teen, everyone's gonna, I, I would say everyone's gonna be, everyone's gonna be a teenager at some point, or at least I hope. I mean, don't tell that to, like, Make-A-Wish Foundation or anything, but yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, was that too dark of a joke? I don't know. <laughs> uh Oh my god, man. Jesus. It's 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 so weird. I don't also one thing. On one hand, I have some on one hand, it's good that the 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 people have more have firepower comparable to the police because I don't know if you know about the police in America, but they aren't in good terms right now. You know what I mean? Like, police will bring goddamn tanks for a peaceful walk. But again, how did we get into this conversation? Hoodlums from the Rayman 3. <laughs> oh, stay away from them. They're ruffians. Puberty, puberty makes you act bad. Yeah, puberty does not make you make rational decisions. That is why teenagers are the easiest characters to write for horror movies, because it's more likely for them to make irrational decisions. Like... But yeah, it's like... I don't know, it's... It's a complicated thing... I think everyone should have a, if if you can afford and pay for something and are responsible with something you have a right to own it. I think like owning a gun should be the same thing as owning a car because they're both metal objects that can kill a person if used irresponsibly. I mean, living in California, you realize how people are not responsible with cars at all. Oh, well, uh, yeah, I'm just drawing. I'm working on the next cartoon, Night Sky. Um, my leg is, like, killing me right now. It's, like, a weird cramp from, like, right, right where my thigh is. It's like blood's not rushing to it. Yeah. Or something, it feels awful. <laughs> Street dogs are the best race of dogs. Anything is a smoke machine if you operate it wrong enough. Oh, yeah. I mean, things have changed so much. I remember when, when I was in high school, freaking, we were, they were having debates about gay marriage, and now gay marriage is pretty much common, or it's getting, in America at least, gay marriage is legal worldwide, from, or worldwide, America wide, from what I know. Like, but when I was in high school, that we had a president that straight up said, oh, it'll destroy America. So things have been changing for the better, but very baby steps that are goddamn slow. And I'm pretty sure things won't be fixed in my damn lifetime with how slow it's moving. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we talked about this last time. Earlier we were talking about Mega Man. Yeah, we were just talking about Mega Man. Now we're talking... Well, I guess we're talking about guns and arms. And Mega Man has a gun for an arm. So there's the correlation. I mean, sexuality is a freaking spectrum, man. 
I personally don't even believe that anyone's ever 100% one way or the other, but, you know, that's more of a psych psychology thing. So if you're saying with all of it, if everyone, if everyone in the world was born with a gun for an arm, maybe we'd have world peace. As long as it's blue. <laughs> or red. Mega Man with a pistol. No, that's Axel from fucking Mega Man X X6. Who I still think is dumb, but like, I don't know, some of y'all like him. No, no, green green guns aren't allowed. That's Leaf Shield. <laughs> I mean, yeah. He just <laughs> he just goes like, I'm normally straight, but I'd suck his dick. <laughs> <laughs> you just, just straight up say that. <laughs> I mean, I eat his ass. Like, man. <laughs> it's like, whatever, man. It's your business. If you want to be open about it, go ahead. If you want to be private about it, it's up to you, man. As long as you don't lie to people. Uh, that's the thing. I mean, if you if you have to for like, I'm like back then it, you would lie to someone to make sure you no know, you wouldn't get like harassed or anything, which you know that makes sense. But like, I, I don't know where I'm going with this. It's like don't don't like don't don't lie to yourself or lie to lie just to try and prove something. Uh, I'm among us sexual. Amongst. Don't you mean amongst us? Are you thinking about those beans? Don't be thinking about those beans. Here's here's a hot take. I'm a Mexican and I don't very much like beans. <laughs> Which makes me a pretty bad Mexican, apparently. I may be straight, but among us. <laughs> Mexican. No, I'm a Mexican. Wendy, don't you talk to me about food, Mrs. I don't eat the cheese on the pizza. <laughs> Among Us is not gonna be in Smash. <laughs> it's silly. It'd be funny, but and it would be a crazy meat costume, but it's way too soon to be um thought about for that. You don't need to have a sexual. No, that's true too. Excuse you. Yeah, I'm bringing that up. I used to back back when my sister was young. She when we ordered pizza, she would always take the cheese off, so I would just eat it. <laughs> I would be like, "Fine, more for me." Oh, it's fan made. Yeah, Among Us ain't making. Uh... Oh yeah, the remix. I actually really like that. I did an Among Us video, the one based on the thing. I wish that one got more views. That one, I, I that one, I like really thought would like go everywhere because everyone's talking about Among Us. But oh, when I do it, nobody cared. Peace out, Luann. Even stuffed pizza. Yeah, how do you take the cheese off of deep dish? That's the sacred part. How dare you? I mean, I did the same thing when I was a kid, but I certainly stopped at a younger age than you did. It's like the crust on a sandwich thing, you know? 
Yeah, please do. I feel like the YouTube algorithms aren't on my favor just because I don't have premium or something. Because my I, my partnership is with Frederator, so I don't know how good I'm, like they are with YouTube. I feel like I, I honestly don't know. I don't know how the system works like at, at all. But I can tell you this, it's not working in my favor at the moment. Lee Handcastle. Clickbait. Clickbait. Yeah, it is clickbait. It's literally among us. It's just it's just a thing among us. What do I have to do? Hashtag among us hack. Hash, what do I have to type? Hashtag Among Us. Hashtag Best Video. Hashtag I'll suck your dick. Just like, what do I have to do? Among Us only fans. God. Is that what I should put on my stream? Should I put Kamek, Kamek from Mario only fans? Just rename my channel to Sus. Channel's my name. Isn't Mario like no well known enough? Sus. Ah, uh, three fingers. Just do it. Mario Day is soon. Oh yeah, March. Y'all send me pictures of milk that expires on March 10th. It says my name. I mean, it's probably just a Koopa with like with the with the shirt. By the way, what do you guys call uh the white shirts that the Koopas wear? What do you call those? What if your channel got nuked on March 31st? Now you tell me. Tank tops, tank tops, flannel. You know what my dad and my dad and family have called them? Dagos. And apparently we're the minority in that. Apparently that's not a good word to say. I don't I don't know, but that's what I've called them my whole life. Dago teases. Apparently that's like a bad word though, and like another slang or something. But that's what that's what I call them. Like the thing Carl from Aqua Teen wears. A Dago. That's what I always thought they were called. Money, yeah. Money. Dad, Dad calls them that too. That's what he calls them. Nah. I've literally never... I, I, I don't know. That's what... Like, it's like... Uh, I don't know what it means. I don't even know what it means. I, I, I gotta Google it or something. You've never heard him say... You are lying to me, Money. Because that is... What he called them. That is what he called them. He would be like he would be like, put it put your put your Dago T on. That's what he called them. No, I don't even know. It could be. Like the only time I've heard it was a bad word was my art teacher from college says, like, huh. And he didn't he wasn't like like angry about it. He was just like, I think he, he wasn't even that clear about it. You know, I'll Google it right now real quick. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a it's a bad it's a bad word meaning 
it, it's a it's a bad word uh, for I think Italian. But my dad used to use that as a word just as the undershirt. Apparently. And even my girlfriend, who's Italian, has never heard that word before. So it must be an old-timey kind of word, like, uh, I don't even know. Right? Yeah. And my girlfriend, who's Italian, has never heard it. So it must be super old-timey. You know, you know another thing. Uh, what is it? Uh, uh, um, the the oh the the me. Oh shoot. Stream is that? Yep. Give me a sec. Okay. I think the connection's good now. You guys good? You guys hear me? Uh, let me know. It, it did, uh, OBS did freeze for a second. Just, uh, oof, big oof. Now it says stream is fine. So I'll, I'll wait for you guys to catch up. What kind of PC? Uh, I'm not a tech savvy person. Um, my roommate built it for me, but I think it came back up. I'd really rather, and maybe it's a sign that we shouldn't be on the topic of potentially racial slurs. So, <laughs> but potential. Bad words that I have no, I have no intention of offending anyone. I'm just curious in whether or not they're actually, you know, true. But we can always change the subject. You play on PC? I play on PC. I've played, I've started playing on PC ever since I moved to California and my roommate uh, built it for me. But do not try and drag me into Overwatch. I am not going back there. I'm not going back to Overwatch ever again. And we got to this topic from Mega Man. Mega Man is everything. Everything can come from Mega Man. And uh, you know what? how Mega Man can be racist? Uh, look at Oil Man from Mega Man... Uh, Mega Man... Uh, Powered Up. That's how we can get... <laughs> Hopefully, I really want them to re-release Powered Up, but I hope they don't, um, they fix Oil Man's design, please, because it's a big move. Kamek is wearing blue, yes. Powered Up. I really want Powered Up to be re-released, and then potentially get the sequel, because I really want to play as Chibi Metal Man. It would be so cute. Yes, adventurous animator, that would be perfect. Just cover his mouth with the scarf, just like the comics. That was brilliant design. 10 out of 10. Wait a minute. Did I mess up your colors? I did. How did I get that? Oh, okay. It's supposed to be light blue. There we go. That is, yeah, that's a, but anyway, ow, eyes,
my own man. Yeah, yeah, Capcom. Look, I know Japan may not have, may not be familiar with certain things like that, but the ignorance, you can't play, you can't feign ignorance for too long, all right? Got to fix it. You got to, you got to do better. I mean, he's cool, but, like, he's no K. Roll, man. It should have been, it should have been just K. Roll. That would have been so rad. No, he doesn't need to be in every game. But, he needs to be in one again. He needs to be in a game. At least. Because it's Donkey Kong Country Returns. And he's a big part. Of Donkey Kong Country. He should return. Like, imagine if, if... Imagine if, like, Mario, like, just decided, hey, we're not gonna have Bowser, we're just gonna use a brand new villain. And there's gonna be no Koopas at all. Well, I mean, I don't know. It's weird. It's just, it's just a weird choice. And it's just, honestly, the thing that bugs me about K. Rule not being in Donkey Kong Returns is because they did think about him. And Miyamoto's like, do we need, do we need K. Rule? Like, let's, like, as if, as if he was, like, not important enough. And it's like, yes, he was a big part of Donkey Kong Country's identity. It's like, dude, we don't need K. Rule. He's not that important to Donkey Kong. It's just more of the attitude of his replacement was like kind of in bad taste. That's all. Yeah, and I would love a Mario game with Wario as the villain again. Please. Like, please. I, you can see I'm a big fan of Wario. I want more of him. quite the fan of Wario, if you couldn't tell. Even again, which my leg feels better. I would love Wario as a villain, but maybe not a main villain. Like a rival, sort of like a blue from Pokemon. Oh boy. Ah, it's been over almost four hours. Jesus. But no, sorry, three. I don't want to count. Wait, when did I start streaming? One, right? Oh boy. Ugh, I gotta start, I gotta start talking about these weird taboo tangents on these streams. <laughs> Where they're gonna get me in trouble, I'm gonna get cancelled. Okay, so I started at one. I'm gonna get cancelled because Lakitu wears glasses and he's the bad guy. And that's being offensive to people who wear glasses. Or did I say Lakitu Kamek? God, I'm a terrible Mario fan. Man, is my... Why is my stream... Maybe just on this... Uh, window, it doesn't look that good. But on my end, on YouTube, it looks really bad. But I don't know how good the quality is on your guys' end. Like, how is, how is, the, how is the stream quality? On my OBS, it says it's fine. But on this little YouTube window, it says it's very bad. Or it just doesn't show very well. I feel like what we say will be super offensive in 30 years. Well, to robots. 
I feel like robots, once they be accepted into society, they're going to be pissed at everything. We're not going to have any more Mega Man games because it's offensive to robots. 720p, okay, well, that's not bad. It's okay for the Switch. As long as I don't, as long as I'm not giving you any drift. Samurai Jack, Samurai Jack. Oh yeah, Samurai Jack is going to be super offensive to robot kind. Peace out, Lord Say. Man, you can eat dinner in 10 minutes? I'm a fat, I'm a fat guy. I eat a lot, so if I'm ever getting dinner, uh, it's going to be a, it's, it's probably going to be the end of the stream. Stay tuned for Wario, Wario only fans featuring Kamek at 720p. Among Us Wario only fans um, featuring Dante and Knuckles. Bro, dinner. It's speed. Speaking of speed running in real life. I, my girlfriend works at Ikea. I want to speed run Ikea. I just genuinely, like, I, I, I need to do that in my life. I want to speed run Ikea. That would be so cool. <laughs> it's such a big store, dude. It's so big. Like, we could work on routes. We could do an any percent or a or a hundred percent. <laughs> Does that even mean? You will you just go through the store as fast as you can. Well, Moni, I don't think you've been to an IKEA. There's not. There is one in Chicago, but it's probably too far, and I really doubt you would need furniture lately. No, just speed run the store. Just and any percent is to just make it from area one to final area to check out as quick as you can, and a hundred percent is visiting every section of the IKEA showroom. All right. So, in order to uh, speed run IKEA, in order to get the best world record, you have to do a special clip that, if you backwards long jump into the right behind the spatulas, you'll actually clip through the wall. And then, but if you mess it up, you'll end up an amalgamation of matter and spatula, and you'll probably just die. So you have it's frame perfect. So make sure you get it right, or you're gonna die. Just imagine, man, like someone just making a TikTok or whatever the hell, or a YouTube video of just running through an IKEA, try, just trying, trying to backwards roll, long jump in real life. Just going, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> wave dash. <laughs> I would pay money to see that. I would genuinely pay money to see someone do a really in depth video and live tutorial of how to speed run ikea my girlfriend just won't let me I, every time i go to ikea with her i'm like babe babe you gotta please just just today once just let me try it <laughs> he doesn't let me <laughs> reading the names huh man that would be like a log book maybe like that would be complete logbook like metroid prime i really think it should be just tagging all the walls or the numbers um there's like numbers of the sections she uh yeah but she's at ikea right now which you know it is not a bad place to work i'm i tried to work there but like it's not that easy to you know, get a job during the time where everyone's practically it's borderline zombie apocalypse, so let's not fool ourselves. An unexciting version of a zombie apocalypse, but an apocalypse apocalyptic nonetheless. 
working out. Nope. This is what I got. And and commission. I got commission. So it's like I got a decent amount of money and money on the way for my animation. Luan, do they have any Ikeas in Brazil? Bruce Martin, no, he's just pissed off. He's not being hung on it. He's just pissed. <laughs> Crucified Jesus. And a real zombie outbreak wouldn't even be that exciting. I mean, we kind of like. Like, zombies are pretty squishy. Just kind of, just kind of, just like uh, that one bad Metal Gear game, Metal Gear Survive. You just. Just get a fence. So how about that pipe? The franchise sure didn't survive. <laughs> Got him. Um, how about that Pyra and Mithra? Everyone's favorite waifu for Smash. <laughs> yeah, maybe it could be even fun. Hell, maybe that's the reason America is so obsessed with guns. Maybe they're just so attached to the idea of, like, come on, man, there's going to be a zombie outbreak. We swear. It's going to be cool. It's like, guy, but um, it's kind of an outbreak already, and um, it's not that great. It's not that cool, and the guns aren't really helping. He feels like he's worth pachinko. Yeah, they just keep coming. There's no stop to them. They keep coming and they won't stop coming and they won't stop coming and they won't stop coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. The villains of Donkey Kong Country Returns sucks. Yeah, I mean, they were a musical instrument, so I get the reference to Donkey Konga, of all things. But, uh... Because if... Honestly, <laughs> we're being real here. All the, the anime characters with the big boobs is pretty unrealistic considering Japan. Which is really rough on them, man. Like, like imagine growing up a woman in Japan and having to compete uh, with anime titties. Like, goddamn. Your poor Max. Yeah, that too. Anime. Anime. We you guys like my anime. You see my anime girlfriend. You see my anime. You guys, you guys watch My Hero Academia. <laughs> hey, if someone values anime tits over life, you should just dump. Anime titties, no. Anime thighs, though. <laughs> King K. Rool. <laughs> yes, my hero is the best. <laughs> oh, man. No, yeah, totally. My hero, that's a... That sure is an anime. <laughs> oh, man. My Hero Academia, the Mario Sunshine of anime. 
this in. I don't give a fuck about it. Uh, we're talking about anime titties? No, what are we what are we talking about, chat? What are we talking about? What am I talking about? I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. We don't speak about sunshine. Mario Sunshine isn't even that bad. I don't hate it. It's just inferior. It's just worse than Galaxy in every way. That's all. <laughs> like <laughs> That's it. And if Mario Sunshine was so great, why didn't it save the damn GameCube? Because it couldn't. <laughs> yes, more than half the shines are useless. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> like Pachinko and freaking... Uh, freaking... Uh, stupid Poison River. Or, why the hell is Yoshi so weird? <laughs> uh, it froze again? Wait, what? Did it? Refresh the page? Should I refresh the stream page? Will it stop? Hmm. Will refreshing this page restart the stream? No? Okay. Okay, well, it looks better on my, on the YouTube end. I'm also going to close Twitter. I don't know what's up. Hello, hello. Okay, everything seems fine. All right. Yeah, okay. So I refreshed my page on whatever the YouTube studio is. And uh, it seems better. Well, I mean, I'm just assuming it does. It's probably like... Okay. Oh, leg! Acting up. Be right back. I'm just getting, getting some energy refill. <clears throat> Uh, because no, my name is Nuke. Oh. Nuke the window? Why? Sure. Oh, oh, right, Discord. Okay, yeah, because it there's notifications. Yeah, I'm like not even paying attention to them. Uh, yeah, I'll close Discord. <laughs> I thought you meant my window, like the one that's open. Uh, let's see.
He's like, yeah, yeah. Imagine him with like Cartman's voice. He's like, yeah. Sorry, it saved again. That was habit. Um, oh, people say that in if IKEA after they close, they will hunt you, kill you, and take your your head <laughs> as a prize. The golden IKEA furniture. What is it like? Mario sixty four piano, except it's uh, kitchen kitchenware. You're going to be whisked to death. You guys remember the Joel story about Swedish Santa? Uh, about how he's like violent and he kills your farm animals. You guys remember that one? The piano is funny. Yeah, the piano is funny. Because, uh, if you remember that show Chowder actually made a reference to it too, Kn Knish Kringle, um, where it's like, it's the same story as Santa. It's like, hey, leave leave a plate of cookies for for the magical person to leave, pre the bearded person to leave presents under your tree or whatever. Uh, but in Swedish Christmas, it's got to be a bowl of porridge, and if you forget to put a smear of butter in it, he's going to go into a wrath an angry wrath and like destroy your house <laughs> uh i don't have a server for like like this I, I don't have my own server i'm in other people's servers i'm in the mega man maker server i'm in the uh i'm in the ridcord ridley discord even though i haven't really played with them yet Smash the schmingerbread. Yep, schmingerbread house. Uh, I'm in the rid cord, as they call it. I'm in my my own uh, Discord with like college friends and junk. Uh, Flash, work with me. Hotkeys. Okay, here's the tween between these two. Funky looking, funky looking in betweens. Yeah, maybe funky looking. He looks like, oh no, wait a minute. What's this? Dun dun dun. Oh yeah, chowder. Chowder is now. Honestly, I've been noticing a lot more fourth wall breaking in cartoons, and I feel like they've been overdoing it. But chowder did it right because they were just so they were just so blatant about it. Kamek's arm is a backpack. Yes, it's blue. A backpack. Maybe it's a and, it, and Kamek is kind of bird like. So in reality, Kamek is banjo. The episode where the cast had to wash the car. Yeah, and Tara Strong was uh looked looked pretty good. <laughs> For you know, and she's like she's like forty something in that in that in that shot, I think. No, no, nah, that was an older episode. She was probably in her thirties, but she she looked good. She's slaying. And she she knew it too. Um, she's funny as hell though, uh, Tara Strong. Tara Strong. Tara Strong is a lot of people's childhood. She's been doing she's been doing stuff since she was fourteen. Did you know that? She did my OG My Little Pony when she was like fourteen. So she's been doing this for. 
hell of a long time. Tom Kenny hasn't been doing it as long, but he's just as synonymous with a lot of our childhood show. And Gray Delisle, I think, is another big one. I only know about, and I only think about Gray Delisle so much because I, I like follow her Twitter, and she's always posting funny stuff. I do. I I I never thought I would be a voice actor professionally, but you know, I wouldn't mind trying it. Try, trying something. Apparently, the key to it is uh, really being able to say complicated words because at the movie theater I used to work on, I'll get to that in a bit, Night Sky. Uh, the, I used to work at the movie theater, um, and one voice, a voice actor came, came who was the voice of Louie the Alligator from uh, Princess and the Frog, and she's also the uh, he, she he the guy was also the voice of like the a the the movie theater like announcer guy like oh hey welcome to the movie theater he had like this soulful soulful voice uh and like he would say that one of the big things is uh like medical terms if you could say like medical terms like you're pretty uh you're you, you've got a good shot because those are hard words to say, like fancy medical words, you know. Oh, I love Princess and the Frog. It's still one of my favorites. Uh, it's, it's got the be like, best villain who I used to call Black Waluigi. Because <laughs> he kind of is. I love the open world beach from Sunshine. Well, that may, that at least makes one of us, because I am not a fan of the beach setting. I am not a summer person. I am a winter person because I am from Chiberian winter. Uh, but Night Sky asked my celebrity crush, and I have literally only had my entire life only one celebrity crush ever. I've ever, like, ever been like, man, I, I really like. Uh, so, uh, celebrity, uh, and that's uh, Mary Elizabeth Winstead. She played uh, Ramona Flowers in uh, Scott Pilgrim, and she was also in Final Destination Three. Um, and yeah, she just she just looks nice, and that's it. No oh, man, I do miss winter. Yeah, it's funny. I moved to California. I went from freezing Chicago, my beloved snow, where you guys are getting like 40 feet. And I'm here in California where we get like nothing but heat. And I do hate the heat. And my skin doesn't even agree with the heat. I get like this awkward heat rash and it's annoying. His face looks like a foot in this frame. <laughs> Oh yeah, the Yoshis and Sunshine are canonically made out of paint. So it's okay if they drown. They don't have feelings. <laughs> now it's funny, it's 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 not a Ramona Flowers role, I think she was the the, the hottest. It's it's the Final Destination 3 role. Um that's that I don't know what it is. She's just real good in the movie. Of all things, right? It's 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 not even that good of a movie. It's just the third. It's the bet. It's the better Final Destination movie, mostly because of her. But yeah, she looks really good in the movie. Um, dude, I can't. Dude, I I'm not gonna. I can't go to Chicago if we're in the middle of this whole thing because then I'd have to stay there for two weeks in my house. Well, I am adventurous. Aren't you, uh, younger? You'll, you might have, one might spruce up when you're older. Could be a late bloomer like I was. I didn't really have, um, feelings. Uh, if we're going to talk about until I was like 14, 15, even 16. What's wrong with that? I am not staying in a house 
of if I'm going to go to Chicago, I want to go to Chicago and eat some pizza, some deep dish pizza, and go downtown. Okay, I'm not gonna stay in that dang house. I've already stayed in that damn house for 24 years. I'm not gonna stay in it another two weeks. I will go mad. And Angelo's and Angelo's place isn't the cleanest. Oh yeah, I'll always come visit. Dude, I need pizza. I need good food. Dude, dude, dude I don't the, the food here sucks. The food here is terrible. I hate it. I had to learn to cook for myself just because of how pathetic the food is here. Like, god damn. I'm, they can't even do like, they can't even do tortillas right. I would I would I would kill a man for some good uh, Milagro chips and Milagro tortillas, okay? I really miss, I really miss my corn tortilla. They're so good, and they're so weak and flimsy here. They're so weak and flimsy, you don't understand, man. I thought, like, California was, like, mostly Mexican. How do they not have superior corn torts? Flour, they're okay, but the corn... I live here because most, a lot of my friends are here, and apparently this is a better place to get a job. Apparently. We'll see how that goes. Well, also now it's for my girlfriend, because she doesn't want to leave. Now she's... He doesn't want to leave, so now I gotta stick around. Yeah, he's still... Yeah, he just walked out the door earlier. I don't know if you missed him. He came first. Well, no, he didn't come. I, I, I mean, I, he was the first person I roomed with. I only just recently moved in with my girlfriend. It was about time, honestly, because... So much easier. I mean, yeah, why not? Oh yeah, I guess I have I guess I am a weeb because I have more fictional crushes than movie crushes. Yet you ever get a game over in Banjo Kazooie? <laughs> Does it remind you of Plague Knight uh adventurous? I just thought of that. Dude, it Callie is kind of just okay. If there's one thing that Callie does have, right? It's uh, I'm, I'm having trouble thinking of um, me who simps for anyone that breathes. Really, Mo Mo Monica? Really? I, I I I'm I'm curious, Monica. You've never. <laughs> it's. Uh... I'm ve very curious. Like, whomst? Like, Prince Prince Eric? Zoro from One Piece? Damn. Okay. <laughs> Well, he's so you like the strong, silent type, huh? Fine, like muscly men. Leave us. I at least have a spec. I have a spectrum of shape in my crushes. Yeah, I like chub. I like the chub too. <laughs> like uh, what, who else do I have a thing for? Um. Trying to think now that I think about it. My uh I have a list, Jesus. <laughs> we are related. <laughs> we are related. If you have a list. Um was Um, I really like Roll Casket. 
even though I've never played Legends. And Tron Bond too. They look nice. I just really like the way they draw. Draw. Uh, I like. Uh, yeah, I just like the way they draw. Um, the. Da, 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 da. Oh, and uh, one of my favorites is from Chrono Trigger. I really like uh, Luca. I was always, I was always salty. It's like the canon, the canon ending is Chrono ends up with, with Marl, and I was like, man, screw Marl. She's just generic McPrincess, dude. Luca freaking invented the time machine, and she's got, she's, she's, she's perf. She is best girl. I definitely didn't have. I don't like that they made Samus like, like, like pretty. I I kind of liked it when she was more. She was like kind of buff in the uh, super. Yeah, Chrono X Luca or Frog. I don't care. I just want Luca to just just be, just be with someone. But I'm weird like that because I'm like borderline scaly furry whatever. Because Frog is best character. Chrono, man, I don't even care about Chrono. It's all about Luca, Frog, and Robo. Those are the three best characters in Chrono Trigger. Pauline from Mario uh, Donkey Kong. Wait, did they? Chrono, Chrono and Luca, did they? I don't remember that. Maybe, it, but maybe I didn't get that ending because there's like a million endings. There's this funny there's this funny history in school they make a temporary bookmark and put some Oh no. no Where can I get it? <laughs> well, one of these days I'm gonna have to it, it's a it's a kind of a running joke with artists um that are kind of struggling with money is like damn I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to draw it. I'm gonna have to draw some some anime stuff. Some dirty anime stuff, aren't I? Yeah, don't worry about it, Lord Say. No one's judging you. I mean hell, Sonic characters are anthro and anthro are ambiguously aged. That's kind of how they're designed. So in lore, I believe Sonic's technically like what, sixteen? Oh damn, you went to C2 T13. I'm gonna blow up if you do that. Do what? Oh, oh, uh yes. Oh well, yeah, that's the thing. I bet that'll get attention. I mean, I can do it. I, I'm I want to practice. It's good anatomy, like straight up. Like it, it this is a fact. Oh, he does it too, doesn't he? Where I, I can't I don't know where I'd find it, but I'm not really. Um but it's it's a fact. Your drawing gets better if you draw something that you yourself are attracted to. That is a hundred percent a fact. Your drawing gets better if you can do that. If you can be genuinely attracted to a drawing you made, that makes you a better artist. I've seen it happen. It always works a hundred percent of the time. So if I do that, I'll probably be a better draw. And um does Pauline count? She's not a princess, but she's a she's the mayor. Brunette, man. She's the OG. She's the she's the one that Mario Pauline is the only one that Mario actually like had a relationship with, confirmed. Daisy just needs her skin color properly, because she's from the damn desert. How is she paler than Peach? I really want them to fix that. What if your friends send for your own characters? Well, then they'll pay for them to, to see them more. <laughs> that's and, and that's where it works. 
Waluigi can have, well, I mean, I mean, I always thought that maybe Waluigi and Wario was a thing, maybe. That's why Wario has, like, no attraction towards Mona or Peach. Well, it, it's weird, because then in the comics, they've confirmed that Wario has a thing for Peach. And then, and yes, she was Tanner in Mario Tennis. Um, I assembled an army of simps. See, at least you guys are allowed to be simps. I was a simp all my life in college, and it got me absolutely nowhere. Then again, maybe it's good that it got me nowhere because I was a fucking simp in college. Hella simp. Mega magnum simp. The simplest of simpletons. My biggest regrets in college were my simpletonness. That would be, yeah, that would be a success. Are you kidding? Sorry, I'm saving again. I always get super paranoid. Yeah, it works. Um, that's that. That's an accomplishment, Lord Say. Honestly, <laughs> if anyone, if anyone wants more of your OC in any way, that's already an accomplishment. When was the last time y'all asked for a, a cartoon about Flecko, or, or my mime or my clown? Ugh. Don't y'all care about Fleco? He's dead. He's just Croc mixed with Gex. He's dead. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, and you'll you will want you will realize that there's no such thing as too bizarre for hentai. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Alright. No such thing. <laughs> I'm sure that I'm sure there would probably be a scaly that would want to see more nude flick i mean the, the 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 lizard is already is already naked i don't make my i don't give my i don't give my lizard any clothes but he's not doing anything dirty so so maybe that's that's what really makes the difference speaking of speaking of uh hentai and dirtiness um how about pyra and mithra you think they're gonna do the uh Do you think they're going to do the bathing suit outfit? I have a feeling they'll actually do it. Just to screw with some heads. If Shulk has his bathing suit, Pyra and Mithra should have theirs. I think it's only fair. Samus has one. Iron Myth. Well, yeah, they are cringe, but they're they have their anime waifu cringe, so that makes it okay, apparently. No, I don't. Yeah, Pirate Myth look like they're fun, dude. It's a two in one. I love characters like that. Pokemon trainer, old Zelda Sheik, uh, my Majora's Mask move set idea is kind of like that. Like I, I will always take a character like like a stance change. Bathing suit. I yeah. I want. I want bathing suit. I want uh swim trunks Mario. Swim trunks Link. Uh uh, 
uh, beach kimono peach fucking um I'm more upset that Mario doesn't have any freaking chest hair. Do you see his mustache? Like, how does a man with a mustache that iconic and big have not a single hair on his chest? He's got a wax or something. He probably waxes. Oh, wait, someone's messaging me. Give me a second. On my cellular phone. What is this? You kids are weird, monies. I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, having a thing for 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 uh, guys that um, all the hot, the old gory stuff is a damn red flag, especially in my experience. This one, this one girl I used, this one girl I used to work with was like, "Oops, uh, here, here's a red, here's some advice." Uh, for you dudes out there, if a girl is like obsessed with the Joker, um, take a double, take a double, just be weary, all right. If they like are like legit, like super attracted to the Joker, right? If they're super into the Joker, be prepared for some weird crap. Yeah, that's not that's that's a red flag, bro. That's a red flag. Now, it might be fun for a bit. It might be fun for a bit. But it, but if it ends, it's going to, there's a 90% guarantee it's going to end in disaster. Right? Yeah. And, and that goes for men, too. If a man is, if a guy is, like, super obsessed with Harley Quinn, I feel like even that's a, a bad sign, too. Because that means they want someone extremely submissive and just will be willing to do anything. It's probably a mama's boy. Yeah, but I mean, you know, interpretations. There's like multiverse, whatever. Like I'm, I, I, I'm not saying that it's against the character, but I'm saying if there's like a person that's like obsessed with uh, with Joker. No matter what, in uh, no matter what uh, version, then uh, they 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 need uh, need Jesus. I don't even believe in Jesus, <laughs> so it's something. <laughs> it's a red flag, man. And that goes for you too, monies. You and your friends have a bunch of red flags. Literally red. Red with blood. But you guys are only like teenagers, so you know. I didn't watch the Lego Batman movie. Uh that was around the time where like I was at the movie theater and it's like funny enough when you work at a movie theater, sure you can watch movies for free, but uh they never give you the freaking time to watch them. I'm still because exist sequels to Yoshi's Island? What do you mean? If you're talking about Yoshi's uh, new island, we don't talk about that one. That one didn't happen. That one just didn't happen. Every, read the description, man. I'm doing this every day. 1 p.m. Eastern. Every single day. Oh my god, why is that music so bad in that game? Yoshi's... Oh wait, Crafted World. I was talking about New Island. New Island's music was bad. New Island was horrible. What the hell was that? Ah, it's like my leg is like asleep and cramping. Sorry. I don't, yeah, I don't, let's all just forget that Yoshi's New Island existed. 
That never happened, ever. It never happened. Oh, peace out, Jordan, as well. Leg. Sorry, I keep complaining about my leg, but it's really driving me nuts. Like, I gotta stand up for a bit. Maybe it's just because I've been sitting so long. I mean, I'm sure New Islands has its fans, and I bet its gameplay is... I mean, it's a Yoshi's Island game, so it its game is probably fine, but its presentation is god-awful. Everything about it is just wrong. Oh yeah, Crafted World has that freaking kazoo in, in the bonus theme, right? I remember Vinny playing that. Yoshi's Island 2, I don't even think, had that great music. It was only just meh. Yoshi's Island 2, though, was hard as shit. You guys ever play that one? Yeah, Yoshi's Island DS, I'm sorry. That one was hard. Like, holy crap. To get 100% in that game? That's insane. It's just so shit. It's because I didn't have Koji Kondo. Koji Kondo has his priorities on Mario, and uh, even then, like he 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 doesn't even do all the Mario games. Koji Kondo is like, I wouldn't say retired, but he doesn't do as much as he used to. Like he didn't even do the soundtrack to Odyssey. Think about that. The big Mario game on Switch without Koji Kondo music. Oh, Woolly World is amazing. Woolly World is the best Yoshi game. Yoshi's Weary Wank. Yoshi's Woolly. My girlfriend calls it Yoshi's Woolly Taint. <laughs> um, yeah, I can see that, but at least with. At least, unlike Donkey Kong 64, there was not every hallway ended in a reason for you to go back to switch your baby you may have to go back once in a while to collect a specific coin but that's it that's the worst it got it never got as bad as like every goddamn hallway leads to a switch that you can't open and bananas you can't collect oh boy i do not like Donkey Kong 64 very much. I think that game is aged horribly compared to other N64 games. Remember when Bowser Jr. had a big fat mouth? He always had a big mouth. Little brat won't shut up. Hey, look at look at Bowser Jr. Look at Bowser Jr. in this frame. Look at this little look at this little shit. <laughs> Bowser. Yes, the DK rap is top tier. Like, everything that's not the game in Donkey Kong 64 is amazing. Graphics, the art, uh, graphics and art style, the music, it's Grant Kirkhope, of course it's great. The, the, the characterization, the voice acting, everything. But the game, and especially the level design, is hot garbage. Good God! Yeah, I know. Bowser Jr. is fun. That's why he's in this part, too. I, I wanted to use it. Um, but yeah, again, Donkey Kong 64. My God. Why is it so bad? What happened? I know what happened. It was rushed, and they were, like, confused on what to make work, and, like, the, the game broke because of the the, the, the expand-on pack and all this. Ugh. But still... In in hindsight, in, in retrospect, or looking at at it nowadays, I think Banjo Tooie aged hella better than Donkey Kong sixty four, with the exception of its horrible slowdown on the console. But Tooie actually has some fun level designs. 
Banjo or uh, 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 Donkey Kong 64. No, <laughs> everything is, is wrong. No, here's the thing, Adventurous Animator. That wouldn't have fixed the problem. The problem is like, like there's no reason the banana should have been multicolored. Why the hell would I have to be a specific character to pick up a banana? Why? Like, even if you had to switch with the control pad, there's it still would be annoying switching between cons just to pick up a damn collectible. That makes no sense. Oh man, that would be amazing if Donkey Kong 64 was like, like kind of like Crash Bandicoot where it was kind of 2D. It would be amazing. Yeah, the problem was not the, the, the fact that you had to switch characters. That was just a result of the bad level design and just the design of the collectibles. Like, there's no reason for there to be multicolored collectibles. How it should have worked is that every single collectible was able to be collected as any Kong, and it keeps track of which Kong you like to use the most. And there are certain collectibles that only specific Kongs can get based on their abilities. But you can find workarounds. Like, sure, there's a steep slope that only Lanky Kong can get up, and that's probably the most efficient way to get it. But technically, hey, I'm Diddy Kong, and I can find a rocket barrel pack and just fly to up, up the ramp as well. So technically, all, all Kongs should be able to get it, but there should be Kongs that are more efficient one way or the other. That's how the game should have been built. But they decided to forcibly separate it into specific collectibles to make them feel like they're all equal, and in reality, they're all just useless. And that's my biggest fear when people are saying, oh, I want a new 3D Donkey Kong, because Nintendo's going to see is like, oh, people like Donkey Kong 64. Well, obviously, they loved all these pointless collectibles and switching Kongs. No, I really hope they don't do that. <laughs> I really hope they know what made Donkey Kong 64 good and what we we should get rid of. Yeah, and even Creepy Castle, it's better, but I mean, it's not by much. It still has problems. Oops. Yeah, I have very strong thoughts on Donkey Kong 64 because I recently played it, like, last year. Just to see, nah, this can't be that bad. Maybe people are too harsh on it. And I was like, no, people are not harsh enough on this game. <laughs> they are not. It's like, oof. God damn. Want a Kirby RPG? Yeah, that'd be fucking sick. Problem is, RPGs are a very um, complicated genre. And Kirby is all about being very simple. So we would have to make a very simple RPG or a complicated Kirby game. So that would be a very hard balance to keep. But yeah, it's possible they could make it like Paper Kirby. Since since they'll never make Paper Mario an RPG again, why not just make it Paper Kirby? It take too long to make underrated Donkey Konga jetpack. It is. They take too long to make what Kirby games? Don't they come out? They come out all the time, don't they? It takes three months to make an RPG. Wait, what? Three months? If it takes that short, maybe I should make an RPG. Shoot. I mean, yeah, you're all right about like what everything I said about Kirby is about Mario, and Mario did get a good RPG. Or at least he used to have good RPGs. But we just decided to stop. Let's just never make a good Mario RPG. Let's just make everyone upset. Let's just destroy everyone's happiness. You want fun? You don't get fun. Just no more. Just, just, just get rid of, just get rid of fun Mario RPG. No, you're not allowed to have. You aren't allowed to have differently. The character design toads. You get Toad A and Toad B and Toad Red. And that's it. Toad's worth is dead. 
why, why do you why do you do this, Nintendo? Why do you just constantly contradict yourself? Why do you why? Do you, why? I want thousand year door, but yeah, I do too. Oh wait, well I have it. <laughs> That's funny. My thousand year door. Get your own. I I still have my GameCube game there. Let's just never make an RPG again. Paper Mario. Pokemon Legends Arceus has likely been in development for years. Well, if it has been, oof. You still need more work there, buddy. Because goddamn Game Freak, I talked about this when I started streaming. Game Freak, you guys are very incompetent developers. Yeah, bug fables, but that's like asking someone to play, uh, what's it called, uh, Bloodstained when they want a new Castlevania game. Like, yeah, that's awesome. Or play ukulele. Well, at, well, ukulele is not that good. Well, it's, it's okay. It's not terrible, but it ain't that great. It's not a good enough replacement for Banjo. But, oh, just, just why, Nintendo? Why? Why, 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 why? Why do you do this? Speaking of legends, what about Mega Man Legends? I've never even played those games. But where's my le where's Legends 3? I'm sure there's lots of fans that wanted that. So many things. It's just like, hey, here's a thing clearly people want. Let's not give it to them because that's how you make money, right? Right. Bug fables from the look of it, uh, I, I like the idea and, and I like the idea. I think the art style needs a lot of work, honestly. It's really the art style that's turning me away from it, really. Also, it's just because I haven't been in the mood to like buy a new game. Like the last game I bought was Doom Eternal. Mega Man on the Moon, yeah. Like, you know, money, money, money ain't growing on trees. Meg? Meg or Meg? And are you talking about legends or are you talking about, uh, dude, Meg? Meg? Okay, Meg. Meg from Family Guy. Guilt, guilt, guilty, guilty crush as well. I, th I like that the joke is that Meg is this ugly character, but she's kind of hot. Not gonna lie. <laughs> like the joke the joke is but she also shows them red flags I was talking about earlier uh da -da 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 The Meg. Oh, the Meg about the shark. Uh, my favorite Ethan. Oh, Luan. Shut up, Luan, with that fucking Wii music. God, that was... You, that, was that was the truest of cringe. Oh, well, I mean, his style, sure. But, like, when you, when you search enough online, someone has made it good. Okay. Very plain. No, Luan. No, that Wii music was like the most embarrassing E3 moment. Oh my god. With that random drummer dude, like, and he looked like he was having a, a conniption. He was like, <laughs> he was sweating. He was actually sweating with Wii music and a Wii, Wii mode. And I was like, God, why? Miyamoto, is this what you've been up to, dude? Are you all right? You all right, dude? Like, are you good? Cyberpunk, cyberpunk. 
It's truly incredible. Oh yeah, I'm totally baked out of my mind. <laughs> Cyberpunk. <laughs> Cyberpunk. He just does that's all he said. No, okay, how about Peggle 2? You guys remember that E3 moment? It it was so brief. It was so brief, but it was gold. He's like, now we have like you could even you could even look it up on YouTube. It's probably there where he's like, where he's like, now we have one more announcement. Peggle two. And he does this awkward jump, and then he just like marches awkwardly off stage. <laughs> like, I remember watching that live, and I was like, dude, what the hell was that? Dude, that, that guy needed to get out of there to avoid shitting himself of embarrassment. <laughs> Bro, man, Peggle 2. Peggle 2. Yeah, you you could you could leave the stream for a sec just to look up Peggle Two. It's only like it's only like uh like two minutes, maybe even less. It is just just glorious. <laughs> oh man, like I don't know why it's making me laugh so much, but it's just good. Cyberpunk. Oh yeah, cyberpunk. Camex glasses remind me of the female teacher from Captain Underpants. You know, I actually didn't grow up with the uh, Captain Underpants, but um, that's cool. Uh, I I do like the art style, but I've I've never really read them. The only one who gets snakes in her hair? Like Medusa? Random question. What do you guys think of Kevin Hart? Because my, my friend Kalen, for some reason, I remember he's like, like, rigorously hates his comedy. Or his lack of comedy. Yeah, with Kevin Hart. That's why I was thinking of Kevin Hart. Because Kevin Hart was the Play the the the, the, bo the the boy, one of the boys. That was the <laughs> Kevin Hart. He's the oh, man. I'm trying to think of movies. I'm not good with movies. I, I gotta be honest. I'm not good with movies. So like, I watch less than like five movies a year. So normally, like if I watch more than five a year, that's like a record. But uh, shoot, where's my frame? There it is. Saving again. I played a Shadow Flash game when I was a kid. Also, Kevin Hart is whatever. If it has Shadow the Hedgehog, I don't know how great it could have been. As I'm saving, I'll show you. I got a couple of these. These McDonald's Pokemon boxes. And they ripped me off because only one of them had the Pokemon cards. The other two had generic McDonald's toys. And I'm really pissed. Because it's, the shiny I got is Piplup. Who wants Piplup? He's okay. He's just not. He's not a starter I like. I also got Froakie, Tepig, and Rowlet. So at least I got some good, some other ones. Like these are actually three great starters. I love Froakie. I love Rowlet, and Tepig's yeah, fine. He's fine. But Piplup is the shiny one. And my freaking, as I said earlier, my freaking roommate got Trico, who's my baby. Um, oh, more Tower Syria adventures. But Trico is my baby. And he's back there. Uh, and 
I wanted to try and get a Squirt because he said he'd be willing to trade with me if I got a shiny Squirtle. And I tried to get at least another set of cards, but they kept giving me crappy generic toys. So I got dicked. Why draw something when you already did? Yeah, Trico was my favorite starter in the series too. Second place is a hard one actually. Probably it's probably Froakie because frog frogs are so good. I've said this before on the stream many a times, but there's no such thing as a bad frog. Frogs are nature's perfection. Really, Oshawott. I'm not. A, I, I like Oshawott. I'm not a fan at all of Samurott, though. I think his design is very weird, especially because he went from quadruped to biped. Or no, biped to quadruped. That's very weird choice. Imagine having Magikarp as a starter. I mean, hey, if you train it enough, you get a pretty damn good Pokemon. Wouldn't be that bad. I, I agree to disagree, man. I mean, Samurott, it's just so weird. Like, He's quadruped, but he's a swordsman, so how does he, like, move? It, it's just, my, the thing is, with Pokemon that I normally don't like, it's when I can't picture how they're going to move. That's why I'm not a fan of Dialga, because he's got, like, thorns that would literally cut into him if he bend his arm. So that's the thing with Samurai. It's like, can he, like, like if you can't, if you can't anim if I can't animate him, then I'm not going to be interested And it's like, also you have forty three. Well, I mean, yeah, I have forty. Really, forty three k? That's not bad. And it's the thing. Uh, honestly, I don't know. I don't know how this works. I don't know how the system works. Am I doing something wrong? Am I not advertising myself? Do I actually need need? You dislike the tongue scarf? Well, that's funny because I think it's a genius design. I think that it's silly, but it's but it's smart, and I can picture how he's animated, and so can Smash Brothers because they put him in Smash. I just wish he didn't have it out all the time. I wish there was like scenes where you could see Greninja without the tongue out. I feel like the tongue scarf is just an intimidation tactic because, yeah, I'd be pretty intimidated with a frog with a giant ass tongue. Like, so long, it's wrapped around it. It's quite intimidating, but it works. Well, he can, it's just they often don't... He, he can put it back. Did you see the Detective Pikachu movie? They showed how it looks without it all around him. Like he he can't he's fully capable of having the tongue in his mouth. Same with look at tongue. Look at tongues are what I was tongue in his mouth. I think Detective Pikachu was like one of the few video game movies that really felt like, okay, this is what video game movies should be. Because it actually took place in the damn video game. Not like Sonic, which everyone likes, but it's just Sonic in real world. Well, Adventurous Animator, if he's like a frog, they have uh, special stuff in their skin that keeps them moist all the time.
Uh, yeah, and you know what else is in Detective Pikachu? Golurk, which automatically makes it worth the 20 prizes of admission. There was a Golurk, man. He was right there. Deal. Golurk. It's the best ever. Look at him. Holy crap. Dude. Dude, man. Mario. Squeal. I thought the movie was passable, you know, it was fine. Uh, and, you know, there were a lot of jokes that were definitely made for Sonic fans. Like, they literally put Sonic in the movie. Um, like, they put Sonic in the movie. Like, that. that's bold. <laughs> that's funny as hell. Um, and... But, you know, it was just, it wasn't anything I've never seen before. I, it was well done, but it was not new. And Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey is a great robotic. Absolutely amazing. I think Jim Carrey was great. Like, it, it, it feels good to see. It, it does just feel nostalgic seeing Jim Carrey to be funny. Because when's the last time we've seen that? Oh, man, I wouldn't put it as bad as the Smurfs movie because the Smurfs are flat out contradicted their franchise. Because the whole reason for Gargamel to be capturing the Smurfs is he wants to use their magic. Hell, sometimes it's not even clear what Gargamel does. They didn't even feel like their character. That's the thing. And it's, it's so easy to make a Smurfs movie to have them act like the character. You know? It's just, yeah. Some about Smurfs fell off. Like, George Lopez being anger was also a very weird choice. And I like George Lopez. Kind of obligated to, because I am Mexican. But... <laughs> Yeah, Smurfs was pretty shit. And yet, it made a lot of money because normies have shit taste in movies. You find that out when you work in a movie theater. Normies have garbage, and it, it feels so elitist to say it, like, call them normies, but that's the only word I could think of. They have bad movie taste. They will, gen they will go into those bootleg, awkward movies from, like, Bible animated movies, no joke. There's sometimes we get those. We got those at the movie theater, and someone with a rational thinking mind would be like, "Oh, that's, that'll be okay." I I came. I, I brought my kid to see the Pixar movie, but it's sold out. So I'll just see this other animated movie. That's it's probably the same. No, it's not. It's pretty fucking garbage. Oh, that's so crazy when you say you saw the Michael Bay Ninja Turtles movie as a kid. And I'm like, dude, that was like recent. <laughs> uh, this is a Wacom Intuos 5. That's oh, dusty. Um, it does what it needs to. Um, most, it's 2014. Oh, man. I still feel, I, I, I feel, I don't want to make any of y'all feel bad, but I feel like weird that like most of my audience are hell of a lot younger than me. That makes me feel like a weird old dude, you know? And the last thing I want to feel, especially being a person who likes Smash Brothers, is to be old. <laughs> because y'all know, y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't want to be the old guy in the group of younger people. You know? It just, it just feels weird. It's also weird because my whole life, I was always the younger one. 
because I hang, hung around with my older brother. He was four years older than me, so I would hang out with his friends. And I didn't have many of my own, with the exception of Dustin, who's my roommate. But yeah, I would mostly hang out with older people. So now being the older one is very weird. And I, maybe, I wonder if my brother ever felt like that, how weird it is. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's obvious that I'm not one of those people. The uh, the one that, the kind of people that got kicked out of Lorte's school, if that's what he said, if you were the one who said it earlier, right? History teacher, was it? I mean, that's true. It is general. That's the hard thing. Like, my, it's hard to even know what your audience is. If you don't, I don't have any, my intended audience is people that like Mario and, and like Mega Man and stuff. And that's broad as hell. It's not like I'm intending it to be younger people or older people. I, it's, it the, the weird thing, it's vice principal, right, Lote. Yeah, I'm not one of those. No, I'm not one of those. But what I'm saying is, uh, it's, it's, it's both good, it both feels good and bad that my one main audience would be Mega Man fans, because I'm a huge Mega Man fan, and I think we need more Mega Man content on the internet in general, even though I'm doing a Wario thing, but I still talk about Mega Man a lot. Uh, I want more Mega Man fans, and it's refreshing that younger people are getting into Mega Man, because that was around the age I got into Mega Man. That was literally, like, I got into Mega Man when I was 14. And I guess, like, whatever, adults have more things to do, or adults, I don't know. Older people like their the streams that they want. I don't know. Like and when I see, it's funny because when I watch other streams, people streams that I watch. Oh well, that's awesome that Smash Brothers got you into Mega Man because that that means he, Smash Brothers is doing its job. Um, Smash Brothers got me into Metroid and uh, uh, not Castlevania. Uh, da, da, da. Earthbound. Uh, Smash Brothers got me into Earthbound. But, uh, yeah, I was, it's just, like, Vinny, Vinny, who is, uh, what kind of audience uh, does Vinny attract? Like, he's a streamer I watch, but does he, does he attract younger audience or older or, like, Mega Man and 12 tough only? Mega Man 12. It's going to be a weird looking frame, but Gamic is a weird looking dude. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud now. Oh, really? Vinny flat out said... I mean, I'm only worried that if I if people under 18 on my streams and then I say something just that happens to be quote-unquote inappropriate, like, I don't believe in censoring if, like, you're old enough to know, like, what's right and wrong, you know? Like, I'm sure, like, parents, it's not like it's illegal for parents to show their kids, to show their kids R-rated movies. Like, I watched The Thing when I was younger, or not The Thing, I, like, a horror movie. I watched an R-rated horror movie, like, when I was younger, and I, that just happened to be something my parents let me watch. I watched Super Bad when I was 17, so technically not old enough to watch it in a theater, but, like, you know... Or I watch Aqua Team Hunter Force. It's not like it's illegal for you guys to watch it. It's illegal for a distributor. But then again, does that mean I'm a distributor? It's weird. So it's 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 a weird. It's just a weird thing. It's hard to. What what are the rules basically when it comes to streaming? 
I don't know. I have no damn idea. I'm I'm new at this. I will I talk to you the same way I would talk to you in person. Or I think I would. I don't know. I've never really talked. I've never really gone out of the way to talk to people of uh, groups of certain ages. Yeah, but the diff but PG thirteen but PG to thirteen is a hell of a lot different from uh, thirteen to R, because like if because well in saving again sorry. If uh, if I was at the movie at my movie theater, like they didn't care if a like a ten year old got into a PG thirteen movie without their parents, like they genuinely didn't care. But if a uh, sixteen or seventeen year old tried to get an R movie, you'd get in trouble if you let them if you sold it to them. You know, like that's really how it is. So it's like it, it's it's freaking comedy. But yeah, I totally agree with that. Like, you shouldn't be on the internet if you're too young to get this stuff. Sorry, I'm like massaging my leg here. It's like such a weird pain. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'll, maybe while it's saving, I'm going to get like a pain relief. I will be right back. I'll sort of fill my energy again. But we are at the, around the five hour mark or four hour mark. Not bad. Yeah, that's true. I guess the main thing, it's like, it's not like the kids have ever complained about what they're being exposed to. It's the parents that complain. But parents will never blame themselves because they can do no wrong. That's the big problem with Here's the, I think the most important so that much? Yeah, of course I do. Um, what was I saying? Oh, uh, how... If there's one thing, I think what truly separates a kid from an adult, the most important lesson I've learned, which some, some which my own damn parents, I don't even think learned, uh, is to... Learn how to admit when you're wrong and that you messed up. That is the most important thing you will ever learn, period. And something you should train yourself for because you won't do it right all the time. If you mess up, if you are wrong and you make a big grave mistake, we're talking life changing, life, life ending, not, well, not life ending, you'd be dead, but completely life-changing event and and you don't take the responsibility to be like yo i did this i have to accept the consequences or try to fix it if you don't learn that then then you will not you will not even you probably won't even die happy like that is important that is the like number one if i were to teach anything if i were to write it on my gravestone even like, you need to learn how to take responsibility for what you messed up. And you don't have to feel bad for it. Like, failure is... And, and that's, I think, a problem with also the media, too. Because, like, parents in the media, like, love to paint failure as this horrible thing. And it's like, no, failure is technically a good thing because you're learning. There's no better teacher 
than failure. Oh, see, Monis, I'm glad you learned that. But don't forget to really think about it if you're ever wrong. Because even even if it's even if it's more obvious when the parents won't admit they're wrong, you have to be willing to realize when you're wrong. And I have trouble doing that too. It's not easy. It, it hurts your ego too. It really does. It sucks. Yeah, that too. That too, Lord say. It really does suck when like you have to just admit it and like, man, I messed up. I did something stupid and I am taking consequences for it. That sucks. It's like the worst. It's Yeah. Your ego isn't high. Are you sure you're related to me? Are you sure you're related to us and mom? I don't know about that. <laughs> Why am I making a moral morals on 14? Well, hey, I mean, you know. If, like, if, if, it, if it ends up working for you, it doesn't matter if you're 14. It's like if it ends up working for you and like, let's say you were 28 and you're looking back and you've been following that moral you've been saying and it works, then yeah, you, you're you doing good. Just never be afraid, never be, never be afraid of failure, I guess. That's the big thing because it's, it's supposed to happen. I was too afraid of failure growing up, way too afraid of it. That's why I never, I actually, fun fact about me, you know, I never truly learned how to ride a bike. I never did because I was such a nervous kid. I was afraid of my own shadow when I was a kid. It's like everything. I just didn't want, I didn't want to get a scratch. It sucked. Nervous about everything. I don't tell a lot of people that. So it's weird that I'm willing to say it in public. Uh, but yeah, I never learned. Uh, hmm. This arm should go out. Then. But yeah, it's very important to just admit when you fuck up and And what's really funny is the reason I learned this was because of video games and technically a class I took for my video game courses. <laughs> good, good addition. Um, very good addition. Adam, unless you are a racist as well, but I mean... You don't want to, just put an asterisk at the end, honestly. Um, but what I'm what I was saying is, um, I took this class. It was called Game Culture, and you know, it was a college. It was it was a. It was both. It was both useful and useless because really, it was just more of a talking kind of luxury class. But at the same time, it did help me learn things about myself, which I would argue is just as important as learning things about the industry. But I don't know if a college class should teach that. Regardless, the teacher made a very good observation about one thing that video game players do better than any other type of person in the world. And that is you video game players are really good at accepting failure because what is losing a life or what is taking damage but you messing up being like okay i could still keep going and then learn from your mistakes that's literally how you play a video game and that really that that really spoke to me when i was in class oh that's pretty cool Dude, wait you got SNES classic boy that's that's just rare damn i wish i i 
I knew I should have bought the SNES Classic when I had a chance. Unless you're a speedrunner. Now, speedrunners learn from their failures. It's just, it, they also have to include execution in there, too. That shit's hard. Just watching a speedrun, it's like, oh, man. Okay, I think this scene is done. Oh yeah, I know about that. It's kind of hard for me to play Star Fox though, classic Star Fox, because of that damn frame rate. Mm. Now I will put the uh, cane on a different cane. Okay, now we got the cane. Okay. Damn. Wait a minute, you got... Oh, hmm. That's really pretty kick ass. That's pretty kick ass. Most of my consoles, my early day consoles, when I was a younger, during the pre 2000s era, uh, were hand me downs for my grandpa. Because he was really into video games and he got them at launch but when the next console came he gave me and my brother the old one so when snes came out we got nes when 64 came out we got the super nintendo but then we traded it um we traded it and i still have his 64 it's actually right here um and some of the games it's reaching its limit though it's, it certainly is reaching its limits my dad did like video games too, but he he was, and you know he uh, he he usually got me pretty badass video games, but just not as not as often. If anything, my dad got us more was uh, bootleg movies. Looking back. Huh. My dad is quite the athlete, too. He's in better shape than both me and my brother, and he's like, over 50. That's the funny thing. Like, I'm like this lardy dude that's like dump this dumpy, this dumpy guy. My dad, like my, my girlfriend literally mistook my dad for my brother. Like he, I got the baby face from him, thankfully. Hopefully I still have my hair because I'm very nervous about losing it. So please, I don't want to lose it. I really don't. I don't want to lose my hair. It'll really suck. I mean, no. I mean, why would you think that? No one... I mean, heck, if you're, you're living and breathing, that's pretty much, you know... Well, yeah, my 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 dad was the same way. He wanted me to get more athletic. His his main thing is like go outside and play. Why do you have to always go be inside and play video games? But it's like that's just not how I was entertained. It's just not what I was interested in. And he wanted me to be really into sports, but 
You mean a, a walk or a run? Okay, money is not, I'm not a little concerned. That might be because you're not eating enough. But then again, when did you do this walk? Was it in the summer or in the the, the winter? Like, I, I really doubt it being in the winter. Why would you be walking? Trying to make it look like it's spinning. Oh, today? Well, yeah, you gotta eat more. But, like, is he... Oh, wait, what? What? Wait, what? Oh, wait, no, it's not snowing anymore, is it? Well, where'd you walk to? 25 minutes? Where are you even walking to in 25? I mean, heck, I'm thinking if I was a dad, I would just be proud that my cells have evolved into a being that's living and thinking. And that would be more than enough. So I'm pretty sure, and I'm pretty sure that's more than enough. It's just like, holy crap. Look at you, you're alive. And also, we're from Chicago. So. It's definitely an accomplishment to just be alive. <laughs> so I don't know if you know much about Chicago, but uh, yeah, that is quite an accomplishment. Oh, I like walks too. Uh, I'm just not a fan of the heat. I'd rather walk in fall weather where it's nice and crispy wind. That's my kind of weather. Win uh, winter is a weird time to walk, but all right. Shoot, wrong button. He's like, God damn it. He throws it down. Definitely, I go. I walk. I walk to McDonald's to get freaking Pokemon cards, which they rip me off. But other than that, yeah, I don't mind going for walks. I just really rough walking with my girlfriend because she's so much shorter than me and she's real slow. It's just like, babe, hurry up, please. Bro, but what you think you comparing Baltimore? My my girlfriend lived in Baltimore for a bit for college, but now Chicago on a regular basis in winter gets to negative twenty. Bro, hell no. <laughs> short GF, yeah, she's she's short, she's a sweetheart. But yeah, it's just it takes forever for her to like even when we're just walking to McDonald's, I'm like, babe, come on. And it's like, also, instinctually, I want her to walk faster because I don't, because I grew up in Chicago, so I don't trust, like, my surroundings. I'm always thinking, like, oh, man, someone's going to, like, shank us or something. So it's like, of course, of course, it's paranoia. I, I have to get out of that mindset. I'm not in Chicago anymore. But still, it's just something I think about. She is shorty though. Very short. Shorter than my little sister who's ten years old younger than her. Which is hilarious. Just make it go off screen here instead. Oh, 
frame rate keeps screwing up with me. Yeah, that means you're taller than Carissa, but man, when he's... She is shorty, shorty malorty. I always have to reach stuff in the top shelf for her, which is hilarious. <laughs> she gets all pouty. Is 5'11 tall for a 14-year-old? Um, yeah, 5'11. Do, do, I'm 5. Wait a minute, I'm 5'11. Damn. Did I have a little bit going out here? Okay, that's good. Yeah, you are tall, Lord. Say you're as tall as I am. You're not my my brother's height. My brother is literally uh, six foot five. Oh man, you kids are growing. Where'd you say you were from? Maybe maybe it's a regional thing. Yeah, maybe. Six six. Oh yeah, and just six six, ain't he? North Carolina. Right, right. I said that last time. I don't even know his. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not like I. Freaking seen him since like two thousand whatever. Yeah, it's already 5.30. Speed, wait. Speed, oh wow. Speed! 3D World with the uh, Bowser's Furry, Bowser's Fur Fest. Speed. 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 See, I, I didn't buy it because I already had it for uh, Wii U, and it's like... I love you, but I don't know about buying a game a second time, full price, buddy. I have to do some. You have you you have to do some stuff now, or you're back from doing said stuff. Because I have to speed speed. I mean, no, more power to you. I mean, I bought, I I bought the Mega Man Legacy Collection when it was on sale, even though I already have it on 3DS. 
Um, okay, so now. Free chicken. Free chicken? What do you mean free chicken? Where'd you get chicken? How'd you get chicken? I want some chicken. I love chicken. Here, give me some of that chicken. The neighbors gave us a whole chicken. Man, we had neighbors and neighbors never gave us free chicken when I was living there. A whole chicken, live chicken, or like <laughs> I remember the neighbors had a pet chicken. Pet rooster, and they ate it. With the neck, with the ne with the neck, huh? Me and me and Carissa made a chicken for Thanksgiving. She'll lie to you and say I was squeamish, but I wasn't. I just got motion sickness earlier. She's a liar. Had to piss. Time to take a piss. <laughs> uh oh, stinky. I hate that meme. Why did I quote that one? <laughs> Must. Have less got a blast. Oh, okay. Head. The hell am I doing? What do you mean? What the hell am I doing? What am I do? What What am I doing? I'm I'm still drawing here. I'm just trying to make this one bounce. Spinning a bit too slow. I need to get rid of some frames. Time to take a piss. Time to take a kiss. Jimmy Neutron himself is kind of a jerk. Like, because remember, like, if you see that meme with the, uh, he's like, oh, that's what I said. Sodium chloride. No, dude. You could act on, like, and then they have, like, this long descript. Like, the, they have the the guy that works at McSpanky's. And he's like, no, dude, this is salt. You could be all smart, smart, and say sodium chloride, but you're really being an egotistical jerk. I know you're better than that, Jim. It's kind of, I'm doing this because we care about you. <laughs> like, it's like this long, drawn-out meme. He's like a... Patronizing, yeah. Let's spin faster. Let's see, I'm gonna try and make it faster in this. Speed! Oops. Me. 
best Jimmy ne best ne Jimmy Neutron characters. Hey Jim, you wanna join the team? Hey Jim. Hey Jim. The reason Cindy doesn't love you is because you're a sub eight male. <laughs> you're a new male, Jimmy. Hey Jim. Oh, hey, hey Matt. You're late. Been on here since one. Rob Paulson, yep. Yes, sir, you right. Hey, Jim. Hey, when my, before my mom was abducted by aliens, she used to rub my tummy and she'd sing. Do, 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 do. <laughs> you guys ever see that meme? <laughs> they made him sing Creed's theme. <laughs> From fucking Metroid 1. <laughs> that is one of my all time favorite memes. Is <laughs> it so random? <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll put it in chat. Because <laughs> you guys have to see this. I, I, I gotta look for it. Here it is. No, no, please, no, it's from a suspended account. No, don't do this to me. No, it's gone, please. Oh no, this this hurts. I'm so sorry. It's I, literally, I looked this up like a week ago and it was there. But apparently the account is su suspended now. And, oh, that hurts. That really hurts, ah, oh, dude. Basically, he just mi he just sound mixed Carl during the the scene in the movie where he's like singing about like uh, the mom that rubbed his tummy when when he was sad or whatever, and <laughs> he made it sound like Creed's theme from Metroid One, <laughs> the most random thing. What? Nothing. Oh man, why didn't I don't know how to save tweets? Twitter, why have you failed me? It's a good song too. I love Metroid One. I love Metroid One. I still think it's a good game. I still think it's great. Uh, it's like a little scythe now. Okay, how about three? And then I make it. I make it 30, so. Threes. Wait, no, not sixty. Uh, what's three sixty divided by three? Zero mission is best version. Um, gotta say, I still like the eight bit chirpiness. Can't go wrong. What is three sixty divided by three? Why don't I know that? It's one twenty. Yes. Good job, brain. There's a hell of a lot of math and animation. There we go. Super fast. Looks like it's looks like it's speed. It looks like it's spinning the wrong way though. Um, But 
nuts if I change the order. He gets pissed off. I didn't know this was Vine Sauce. I can't do Vinny's voice. It's very, it's very um, low tone. I have, I have a very shrill natural voice. So. Speed. Hmm. Doesn't look like it's speedying very well. Let me see. I think I need after images. You plan on stopping? Uh, I'm planning on staying here for a while this time. Um, quite a bit this time. Maybe even seven. Oof. Seven my time, I should say. It's five here now. Oh, okay. Peace out, Lorte. Get some rest. Some speed. Oh, damn, I can hear him cracking. Mm. Oh, boy. Yeah. Mm, I think I'm missing something. Oh, six o'clock for me, I see. Oh, I see. Steamed clams. I thought you said we're having steamed clams. Oh, no, no. I said steamed hams. That's what I call hamburgers. You call hamburgers steamed hams. Yes, yes. It's a regional bag. Uh-uh. In what region? Uh, upstate New York? Really? I know that all too well. <laughs> 
all too well. Hmm, st, 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 This look good. I don't like, you know what, I'll just leave it. Something's off here, man. I feel like something's off. Or steamed ham. Yes. It's the it's it's the it's the um, delivery. Delivery is just very good. So good, top tier delivery. Oh my goodness! Maybe it is the wrong order. A little better. So yeah, it was just wrong. chicken and potatoes. That was my breakfast. Oh, guys, this is getting a little rough here. Oh, great. I'm going to die on the 30th. It's supposed to be March. March of Mario. I think that'll do. Screw it. I don't want to spend too much time on this damn frame. Just add a little impact. All right. <laughs> oh man, animation. Uh, am I right, guys? It's been what almost five hours. And it's like a couple, like not even a second of animation. Why did I choose to do this? Why did I choose to an iPhone? All right. You want to, You want to, You want to animate with an iPhone? Do what's called pixelation. And you just animate with pictures. So like frame like like stop motion, but with people. So it's like frame one, frame two, frame three, frame four, frame five, frame six, frame seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Pixelation.
Because I will never recommend someone draw on an iPhone with like a finger. No, no. But iPhones are actually pretty good at taking pictures and taking video. So, yeah, just use that to your advantage. Oh, man. I'm tired. But I'll still keep going. I got to keep going. I got to. Yeah, you do, man. I mean, I see. It's like, God damn it. background from Bowser Jr.'s room. They shatter when drop two feet. Well, that's why I get a droid. I could punch this thing all I want. It still works. I was about to show you a picture, but it's my girlfriend, so. I wouldn't want to show her face without her permission. Oh, boy. Bug or the phone? What? Hmm. Oh, you, uh, you like the frame, Luan? Oh, it should be, it should be like off the screen. How to cheat when you can't really do backgrounds? I mean, we don't draw backgrounds, but they take so damn long, so it's like, you know, just do it like this. It's just flat images. Why not work with me? Lag, it's killing me, guys. It's really just driving me up the wall. You have no idea. Saving again. Oh. Just gotta stretch, guys. I am. Oh, it's rough when you gotta sit down for a long time. Stretching my legs because they are killing me. Ah. Oh, and Matt, I still got this. Or no, this isn't the one you gave me. This is the one my brother gave me, but I do have the other one too. Uh, 
is Oh, peace out, Lord Say. Yep. Every day. Every single day. Oh, hey, Star Jenny. Crunch indeed. Crunch time indeed. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh, how funny it is. Okay. I think I just want to move the horizon line a bit down. It's in the air. Enemies in the air. Here. Come on, flash and freaking hotkeys. Yeah, backgrounds does is a big part of well, a lot of animation in general. But what's more important is drawing characters within said backgrounds. I think I have some skill when it comes to just backgrounds on their own, but actually putting the characters in them, that is hard. That is very hard. center here. No, not all of you. Just some. Perspective, oh yeah, perspective, if you learn that, you're you're pretty much in it to win it. Um like they love to see perspective with the industry school. Okay, sorry I'm saving again. It's just it's uh what I do when I when I finish a landmark. Um now what's gonna happen next? Ah, uh, what do I do? Also a more tip, Star Jetty and anyone animating. Storyboard your damn cartoon, unlike me, who's a goddamn idiot who didn't board what's going to happen, so I don't know what's going to happen. I get too ahead of myself. Oh boy. Ah, man, I took 
pain relief, but I thought it was leg cramp. Took like three of them. You know, there's a sign at, in front of my apartment that says skunk. Beware of skunk. Yeah, I'm, it's honestly one of the scariest signs I've ever read. I never want to get skunked. It sounds like. Pepe Le Pew. Pet skunk? Can you domesticate a skunk? Will it not sm smell you up? Or like stink you up? Flash. Every time I say it, I swear. Big ones. Oh, really? I genuinely didn't know that. Really sounds wrong. Do they like? Wait, Moni, are you making something up? Do they like remove their stink gland or something? That sounds like horrible. And yes, declawing is also horrible. Way too quick. Way too quick. What I can do though, I don't know. I don't know if this is conveyed well. So, what's supposed to be happening is the bullet bill gets exploded by its own bullet, right? Or the blaster gets exploded by its own bullet. And like it, it goes into like white noise, like a screen, and Kamek is watching on a screen and gets angry. But I don't, I didn't put it in a scene that transitions. That's the more. We're doing this sucker freestyle. The alpha as in like the quote unquote transparency. Yeah, you can. It, it's weird though, because um, I'm 
sometimes. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. You, you, it's actually easier to turn it into a shape and then lower opacity because if you just do it of a color, you have to do it for each individual color, each individual frame, and that's really annoying. So I would have to make an alpha lowered red, an alpha lowered yellow, an alpha lowered black, and an alpha lowered other black. He's scenting. Sounds awful. Well, is it healthy for him? I think I'm going to have to show off the stream. It's going to be your punishment.
Sorry, I'm really quiet right now. I don't really have much to say. Uh, Mega Man. Fucking awesome. I really like Mega Man. You guys know that? It's pretty damn great. He's pretty damn fucking cool. He's got a gun for a hand. He's little boy blue. and His dad is like Santa Claus. It's a robot. You did just got into Earthbound, though. Is that your first time playing, or? Was that you? The, like, you're the one who just tweeted out uh, Earthbound, right? Feel like I'm being a little too... Putting too much detail in the smoke, I should just leave it as is, but... I don't know. I'm just kind of testing it. It was my first time, yeah. Earthbound. I love Earthbound. It's a great RPG. A little cryptic sometimes, like the whole waiting under a waterfall, or as you said, the, the carrot key, you forgot, you didn't realize it was there. It's just got a little bit of old school cryptic bullcrap. Impeached. Eh. I didn't even get impeached. Bunch of freaking cowards. I'm like, oh, I don't, I, don't want, I don't want it to be hard. I don't want them to be mad at me. We won't impeach him. We'll tell him. We'll tell him, but we won't do it. Oh, uh, the monkey cave? Um, yeah, that is definitely a part I was, uh, blessed with having a guide. Because, you know, it's like, the whole point is just like, hey, we want these items, but you'll only find out once you talk to them. And they're definitely not going to be items you just have lying around. <laughs> is the music in your head ever? I feel like the music's going to be in your head. <laughs> <laughs> you you threw away the ruler, yep. <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of a little ups upset that the ruler uh doesn't like increase Jeff's chance of like fixing a, t a tool. Oh yeah, pencil statue is just there. Oh man, I'm sorry. <laughs> I I love the pencil eraser. It's such a stupid, stupid item. It's too craggy now, so I gotta puff it up. found you know it's like yeah it is it's it's literally been done in other games too and it's not fun there either like the uh the gibdo trading sequence in uh majora's mask is literally the same thing it is very annoying So 
scared. Yeah, it was pretty creepy. Minish Cap is an interesting recommendation for the first. I mean, it is easy, I would argue. Uh, it's kind of a pain to 100% because it has these... Uh, it has these moments where if you don't do it correctly, you'll never get a chance to do it again. And I don't like that in video games. It's an optional item, but or optional items, but like there are moments where it's like, hey, here's this one chance to do some side quest, and if you don't do it, you won't get a chance to do it again. Uh, I don't like that in any game. That's always dumb. A lunatic. <laughs> Would have also accepted a space bee. Uh, da -da 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 oh man. Sorry, I'm just like in a different headspace right now. B I am. No. Well, we never found out what kind of bug buzz buzz was. Bug buzz was was. Buggy was he was a bear. Bug bug buzz was. Nuzz. John Jacob Jingle Heimer Schmidt. His name is my name, too. Oh, Beetle. Poor Buzz Buzz. Buzz Buzz deserved better. No, don't say that. The Mariocalypse. <laughs> Makes it sound like a mariachi. <laughs> Real talk, I think Mario looks more Mexican than Italian, but maybe it's because I'm Mario and I'm Mexican. Especially in the Super Mario Bros. 1 uh, sprite. Um, the, the very first one, he looks really Mexican in that sprite. Maybe it's just me. Seems kind of biased. Well, yeah. An Italian made Mario? No. But a Mexican made Mario. I believe. With a mustache? Come on. Come on. That's a Mexican mustache. <laughs> I have the same one. Dr. Amigo. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Amigo. We're <laughs> fucking <laughs> the bootleg one. <laughs> that, that, whatever that did the voice of that Dr. Amigo, like, sounded just like him. It's crazy. I think Monica is Italian. Um, wait, final phase, hit the orbs into the eyes. Wait, which one, which, which boss are you talking about? Is that, that's not earth, that's not earthbound.
Oh, Minish Cap. Minish Cap. Right. Oh, yeah. The final boss can be kind of a pain if you don't uh, if you don't really uh, um, get with the the four sword gimmick. Yeah, Funix. 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 Jeez. There we go. Oh. Hmm. Fuck that amigo. His voice, whoever that is, did it perfect, and I love him. Running something here. Make it like hot flash. take i think smash for the 64 is the second best one okay Okay, chat, sometimes things don't need to be, and I don't need a smoke trail for this bullet bill. It's fine the way it is. Try to make it work, but nah. I am going to add a few smear lines at the very least, but that's, that's it, that's all. Where is the... Hot take Skullgirl. Skullgirls is better. Hot take Killer Instinct is best. And I've already talked about that. In here, I'm trying to make it like a decent. I did not. You're right. Okay, I think I'm doing that my final stretch here. Man, this is a long stream. I think what I will do is work. Yeah, I was gonna use Flat Wario, and he's gonna get back up, and some Swamps are gonna try and attack him. And then I don't know what's going to happen there. But the hard part is transitioning into the Waluigi scene. Waluigi's slimy mustache. Okay, but I think I think that'll do it. I'm 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 starting to. 
cramp up here. I feel like I'm burning. It's, it, it feels like I've been in a pool for a long time, and it's like my my skin is like wrinkling or something. I don't know, but I, I need a break. Maybe for maybe if I stream tomorrow, I'll do like a BRB, so I could split the stream maybe. But I am going to. Uh, that's it for today for streaming. Uh, this is the first of March. This is the March of Mario, I guess. I think that's just, I like the I love alliteration because of Donkey Kong Country. Thanks everyone for joining me. Hey, little sis. Hopefully everything's good. I'm glad you uh. You told me about your list, which is, which really, which really is funny to me, but, um, yeah, I'm going to grab, I'm going to get some food, um, and probably work a little bit more on this and then do some private commission work, but, uh, thanks everyone for joining, and I'm doing, as I said, I'm doing this every day for the month of March, so always tune in. I always start at one um pacific pacific time right I gotta know my time i should know my own time zone one o'clock pacific time 1 p.m every day so it's been real uh glad everyone to join hope everyone enjoyed um peace out uh and that, that'll do it